guys remember last time we left off, you guys had just went through the Onion Portal and found, uh, you know, got your side quests and stuff from the people in there, and made your way into the cave, where all you've done so far was find <laughs> one, was find one secret entrance that led you down a hallway to a uh, stinky water-filled place with a statue that some of y'all just swam in because you wanted to, I guess. Um, but yeah. <laughs> That's uh, that's all you guys have really done so far. So I guess you guys are gonna pick up, leaving there. I don't know if you guys want to talk anything over or what's going on with that. But however y'all want to get started. Thank you. Let's just can I let, let's see the map. <laughs> Got to zoom out. It's gonna zoom in on the yeah, first this top. Yeah, big. It is big. Dude. Yeah, it's big. Oh yeah. wait, oh there it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very big map. Yeah. Yeah, scroll yeah. out and find it. Scroll I back in. I did not see that. You can't scroll in on here yet until we go to jump gate. I, I think is, Adara should nice, take the way. lead with her old stinky. You smell bad. <laughs> you all smell bad. We all smell like shit. She was swimming in it. She covered in it. Everyone swam in it. No. I walked around no, the edge. I not. No, I, I walked not. around the edge right there. I got the head. I didn't go in that water. Sure. Cleric's too pristine and pretty to be going in that duty water. Can you go bless it for us? Yeah, bless yeah, it man. for us so the duty goes away. Yeah. I'll turn it into duty water. Turn it into holy water. Go over here towards these stairs, I guess. Whatever, I'm just staying behind you. You know the rules. Right. Stay behind yeah. the fire maker. So you're going to make your way down those steps? Yep. Alright. I'll uh, follow in Trogdor. I know you're and... in like 300 feet, so let me just... Roll for out. initiative. <laughs> oh, Trogdor, do you want the blessing, man? We still have the blessing. We've only been here for like two minutes. Yeah. yeah. Ten oh, minutes, maybe. Should, the blessing should still be good. Blessing. It should. I oh, yeah, you only get to do one person at a time for that one. So yeah, I guess so. Yeah. So do you want it, or I'm gonna use it on myself, man. Use it on yourself. I'm feeling lucky tonight. Okay. All right. Visual blessing on myself. Excuse me. Thank you. All right. Uh, as you guys head down this, uh, well, just let me refresh your hallway. So this hallway again is 20 foot wide. Uh, the stairs descend 10 feet downward uh, into a room of pillars. Um, the pillar, as you can see, there is an exit in multiple directions. Let me give you all the exits as well. So there's an exit in the north, south, and west corridor. And the moment you guys start to enter into... Hold on. It's gonna... It's gonna give me this. And then let me get rid of this. All right. So as soon as you guys start to enter down the steps, uh, you guys will see bugbears run from behind the pillars here, and they will both make their way down this south corridor. It's a trap, y'all. As you guys step further into this pillar room, you'll see... Uh, a large skeleton of a giant constrictor snake that's coiled at the top half of the northernmost pillar. Um, and uh, you guys can look around to see if you see anything else or whatever. Now it's a statue? Like made out of stone? There's no statues. It was a snake skeleton. On oh, a pillar. It was a skeleton. There's okay. pillars. Yeah. It's, it's a room full of different pillars. I think it's a trap, man. So do you want to chase them or chase whatever was chasing them? Well, can someone see if it's a trap? Yeah, somebody roll investigation or perception or whatever it is. It's probably I don't know what it is. I have no idea. I mean, they're it's probably prob running from something, so. Yeah, investigate perception probably. I mean, perception roll to see if the if there's traps. It's up to you. If you want to do that. Okay. Okay, I'll just do it. Okay. Since no one 
You're the rogue. You're you supposed to check for traps. So whoever, whoever wants to do good. it. So. Yeah. Well, we're we're not checking for traps. What are you checking for? Oh wait, I forgot I got an advantage on perception. Are you just checking the room out? Someone said they wanted to. Traps. I don't know. Well, People I'm passing seventeen, mind. man. Okay, just roll oh, your yeah. perception. I'll tell you what you see. Let's just make it that make it simple. Let me, I... Wait, let me do it because I have advantage. Can I go with my passive 17? Yeah, passive 17 is fine. In fact, okay, passive so... 17 is enough. No need to roll. Uh, okay. On the southern part where you saw the bugbears leave, you do see the words carved in common on the wall that says, Certain death this way. Where the bugbears ran. Yes, down the hallway that the bugbears ran down. That's kind of funny. Oh. Uh, could they read that sign? I don't know. I think they wrote the sign, to be honest with you. Well, Trogdor, this is your chance to blow something up, man. Alright, so are we going to go south and blow shit up, or are we going to go north or west and blow shit up? Or... I'm blowing shit up either way. Just pick a direction. I'm following you, dude. Well, are we sure that there's anything that awaits us besides... Death, as the sign puts it. You guys have 300 feet of vision, right? Yes. Yep. We. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40, 40. There's no way that's not 300. Alright, so here's a hallway. Here's this hallway. That 300, man, you can just see whatever you want, man. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Well, they only get it for an hour, but yeah. <laughs> it's still crazy, regardless. <laughs> the amount that you can see. Uh, so yeah, um, the south hallway goes down the very far ways, and you can kind of see it curves to the side. The north hallway uh, looks like it has multiple exits for uh, different pathways. And then the west hallway, uh, let me read that one. It's a little different, I think. Just by the way it looks. Um, yep. Uh, so, this hallway is not as long as the southern hallway, but longer than the northern hallway. It doesn't look like it leaves anywhere, and you can kind of see. Um, yeah, you can kind of see. A f I'd say you'd be able to see a few mirrors uh, from the an from some angles. To the west. Yeah. Ooh, that's definitely a trap. Sorry, where is it? It's to the west? Yeah, to the west you see uh, a number of mirrors kind of tucked into the sides, but from like sideways angles you can kind of see a couple of them, so you know that there there's a couple of mirrors in that hallway on the sides. Can I look and see if I recognize their traps? Is that a thing? Um, I could do that. Or there, there are. That, yeah, you can whatever roll. Whatever that, that roll. perception is. Yeah, roll the perception for, for the check for traps. Uh, 22. Uh, there is, doesn't seem to be any actual traps, but right here in the middle... You can see what looks to be a uh, snuffed out torch or burnt out torch that lies in the on the middle of the corridor. Something is ahead of us. Hey, Somebody, man. Ahead. Somebody shoot one of those mirrors, man. Okay, I am going to shoot one of the mirrors with my crossbow. Um, they're kind of oh. like I mean. From your angle, the only one you can really hit is this one, I would say. Because there's a mirror in each of the... They're in all of these little, like, curve-outs. Okay, cool. I'll shoot I'll shoot that one. Okay. Let's see what happens, man. Uh, when you shoot it, the glass shatters. Is it like a, a trap door? Is there anything behind it? Nope, you just broke a mirror. Seven years bad luck. <laughs> I was gonna go in that gangbusters with my warrior or smash all of them, man. I don't trust them mirrors. Well, go ahead and do that. Maybe you'll find a hidden door. 
I'm gonna go torch. up and check the torch. I'm gonna start smashing mirrors, man. All right, uh, I'm gonna. Chogdor, Chogdor, stop walking in front of the party. Let the party walk with you. Well, no, he's smashing the mirrors. Some of us don't even want to go is down. Is that what you're? Do, uh, is that what we're doing, Chogdor? You're just gonna go up and smash each mirror as you go along? No, I'm oh, gonna go check the torch and see if it's still hot or if it's cold, like okay, it's been so there for a while. So you're just walking up to the torch. So I'm not smashing not mirrors shit. though. Okay, Who's so Chogdor is just walking up to the torch. Noted. What else is? What are you doing, Magnus? I was right at the beginning. I was gonna start smashing these mirrors. Okay, so you smash. Uh, I guess the mirror that Roland didn't break yet. Yep, and then move on to the next one. Okay. And smash those two. I think you're right. causing Charger, too much you can noise. keep. Uh, keep going. Yeah. All right. Um, you said the the torch was like right around here, right? Yeah, it's it's right there. You can kind of see it on the map if you scroll in. Magnus, I'm gonna try to torch, see if it's like warm and or not, it's or like what? It's cold. Magnus, you're making too much noise. I don't know how to fix that. Stop we make a lot of noise. Oh. <laughs> right. Why you want to ruin my fun? Let's smash these mirrors. Because no, you're going right. to alert somebody. It's too late for that. Yeah, it's too late for that. All right. So, Chogdor, you stepped forward like you did. All right. Are you stopping there? I'm stopping here to investigate the uh, torch that was on the ground, whether it was, like, hot or cold, like it's been used recently or it's been here for a while. Uh, when you touch it, it is cold to the touch. It has not been used in a long time. All right. So, no, it disappeared here recently. Like, ghosting out or something like that no it stays there it's a real torch just it's cold it hasn't been used yeah hey, yeah no no that's what i mean it's like it's like someone didn't just get like taken and the torch fell went out and we're now walking up on it just coming out oh no nothing recent it's been out was the torch on the floor this whole time or yep. was it like hung up on okay Well, Did you might as well go ahead like and a... check the rest of the hall, man. All right, All right I'll, I'll check the rest of the hall. I got your back way back here. All right, so, Spot. Magnus, you've break it, broken, I'm guessing, three mirrors, though, other than the one that Roland broke, right? Yeah, and then I stopped because they was, said I was making too much noise. Yeah. I'm going to pick up my arrow. I shot noise. at the, ear, the mirror as well. That is fine. Um, I need to reveal this. You can see that the hallway does have an ending, and it just kind of blended in with the rest of the hallway. Chargdor, you can keep moving, though. That sounds like fun. Hold on, it's five, ten, six, you want to check out the end of the hallway, ahead, so... Okay. Yeah, I'll check the end of the hallway. Look, Trugdor went down there perfectly fine and wasn't ambushed. I think we don't have to break any of these mirrors. Right, I'm going halfway up. Walk on the tiles I walked on. You're good. All right. I'm going to put Crimson with you guys. And I'm going to allow... Just to be flat with it, you guys have 15 feet of movement left before the thing happens. <gasps> okay, well, where's it gonna come? <laughs> Not saying nothing else. Oh, tra oh, Tractor, you are at the end of the hallway. I should show you the, the hallway, yeah? Uh, sure, why not? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look at this. Uh, Look at that hallway. Uh, Certainly is a hallway. I see a <laughs> door down here. And there should be... A oh, I think... By like the most smallest of slivers, you didn't. There's our pathway, pathway, and pathway. Okay, so you can see a few pathways and a door at the very end. Um, Roland, do you see Adar, anything? Are you, door? Is that where you want to be? I'm content where I am. Yep. All I'm right. gonna kill myself if I get attacked. <laughs> Same. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll live. You'll buff out. Suicide pack. Suicide pack. If somebody attacks, mm -hmm. we just all die. We're just all gonna kill ourselves. All right. 
Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, after Trogdor reaches the end of the hallway and the rest of you continue to investigate, seemingly from the mirrors, Magnus, you would see that it looks like there was someone standing in the mirror that wasn't you. And as a, you try oh, to look, shit, I killed somebody. And as you try to look closer <laughs> upon, you see some shadow figures step out. <laughs> Looking very similar to Trogdor. Each one of them. God damn it, we should have broke the mirrors! I know, right? You Thanks, guys, Balin. You guys only broke the first three, and those were not, not uh, enchanted, so. Not no, part the of the. Four. He, first, first four, four but okay. it doesn't matter. No, that's <laughs> also not part of it. <laughs> Man. So, now you know why the bugbears didn't sure run. let me break the. Now you know why the bugbears didn't run that way, right? So, so let's have let a turn, and then we need your. I'm really glad I got I got advantage on my rolls because I got one the first time. Yeah, I have advantage on initiate as well. Me too. Yeah. Uh, that turns into a. God, hold on. Wait, what's my initiative? Um. Okay. Thank God for. Advantage. I told you I was real lucky tonight. Ooh, they they don't have a auto initiative thing. That kind of sucks. Okay, so I gotta roll each one. Oh, here we go. Hey, man, that word of radiance is gonna come in handy this time. <laughs> Ding. It's. Uh, I'm gonna try one more time before I throw something. Here we go. What happened? What's going on? It wasn't. I had to like enter my um, initiate like seven times. Oh, I uh, I made a habit of always pressing enter. It it. That's the only way that works 100% of the time is pressing enter. Click it, type it in, press enter. Yeah, and if someone's type at the same time, hits enter at the same time, you get yes when yeah, someone gets blocked. That is true. That does that too, which is you know not frustrating at all. I mean, it's just just fine. Yeah. All right, there we go. Uh, oh, and then we need Crimson 20. All right, Crimson, or Desmond, I guess, sorry. Uh, plus four. Trogdor, what's your dex? Veleth, what's your dex? Trogdor. Uh, it's plus two. Alright, uh, both y'all have to roll off with a, a shadow guy. So, I'll do black die for Trogdor. And then I'll do a red die for Veleth. Uh, Trogdor, I got a six, you got a 19. You win. Veleth, what'd you get? got a 19. I got a 14, so... As well, so I'll put a little point one next to your number. All right, any other duplicates? Seven, six, fifteen, fifteen, twelve. All right, no more duplicates. Boom. All righty. <laughs> Do these guys have a handout? No handout, because they look like you, right? So yeah, they all look like Trogdor, just so everyone's fully aware, since he's the one that walked down the hallway before anyone else. At least she does squishy. Uh, so yeah, you uh, looks like we're starting with rolling. Just give me one second when I get my dice in order. Um, oh, I'm gonna run up. But oh, it's not letting me move. Here we got go. The right, got the right tool on. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> 20. I'm gonna smack this one with my rapier with sneak attack. Yep. Because you get the uh, advantage with the attack as well, so. Uh, do, 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 do. Take music. Sorry, one second. All good. 22 to hit. 22 does the smack. Yes, it does. 
And shit ton of damage. Here we go. 14 total damage. Give me this one. 14 damage. So is that with your sneak attack? Yes. Alrighty. 14 damage total. He is not down yet, but uh, you cut through his shadow figure, and for a moment, his Trogdor appearance looked more like a cloaked shade before it went back to the Trogdor appearance. Cloak shade! A yellow. Cloak shade! Bonus action, disengage. The what? <laughs> Alrighty, that brings us to Trogdor. What's Trogdor doing? Uh, you should have figured out what I'm doing by now, <laughs> but... uh. So, right about here is going to be a fireball. I'll be nice and I'll careful spell it so Baylith doesn't have to even worry about doing a save. But that hits all six of them and Baylith. <laughs> you I, know, I don't it. have to worry about a save, but I have to worry about a save. You're still getting hurt, but yeah, I was like, it's I was fire. Like, I was about to say, I think it's still, she still takes uh, half. She still takes yeah. half, but... but uh, all right. Uh, well, I take half of half because of my my uh, resistance as a tiefling. I that's figured right. you were a tiefling could handle fire, so that's why I was like, yeah. I don't care about Hitler. <laughs> no, actually, that doesn't matter. You're pyromancy. I'm not level six yet. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's pretty soon you have to be a little more cautious just because of that alone. Yeah, I know. Right now, I'm not, so I'm good. Get it while you got it. Alrighty. Fireball. So I take half of half. They are. Right, so I take like just... a quarter of damage. Uh, it would so suck if they're resistant. It's it's dex saves, <laughs> right? So I that believe was so. An eleven, a thirteen, a seventeen, and a dirty twenty. Uh, the seventeen and twenty save. All right. And that was all six of the guys. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You do. Uh... Let me get that measure real quick. Yeah, hit those two as well. Alrighty. Yeah. Let me get two more. Uh, seven and nineteen. So nineteen half sa saves. Half save, half don't. Give me that eight d six for your fireball. Damn, dude! You finally got the blow. Eight d six. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. So Valeth, you take fourteen. Half of half. Yeah. Is and then no, you that's, oh, you take seven. I need a half of half. Yeah, yeah seven. So. All right, so this one over here. Oops, put the wrong. Number. And the two in front of me are also going to take three damage extra from pyromancy. All righty. Uh, the two in the back. Oh wait, one of the ones in the back saved, right? So. Uh, Two in the front saved, so... And then they take an extra three, you said? Each? Correct, each. Alright, so I'll yeah. give that total number to them. And I will give that total number to them. And then these guys failed, so they take it. Whoops, I put the wrong number in. There we go. Alright, and... Last one's updated. All right, none of them go down, but uh, they do kind of shimmer before they uh, reform. Anything else? I'm just gonna yell out the holy man. We might need radiant damage. Too bad. <laughs> do you say too bad? <laughs> God, bro, you should have thought that. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Word of radiance. Our word of radiance is Shrek. <laughs> Hold on, I think my wife called me. One second. Been itching to use that cantrip, man. And there's four of them right around. I'm gonna hit all four of them. Back. She's fine. I misheard. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. So, who? Which one is this? Uh, the one right next to Valeth is going to <clears throat> kind of reach forward to try and grab her. Does a... No. Does an 8 hit? I'm guessing. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, unfortunately missed. And, uh... Snapper. 
Pretty you cool. can't do much else, so. Yeah. Alright, um. So yeah, he used, that makes it your turn, Phyllis. Alright. Return fire. Uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs> let me see. Okay. I'm. Let me see. If it, is it possible to. Uh, hold on a second. I'm rolling. I'm getting. Grabbing this. Okay. Would it be possible to put a spike growth kind of like this? Um. Yeah. Do you, do you see? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I cast spike growth in that in that area. I don't know how to place it Can down. Can you give but... me the uh, square again, please, real quick? Yes. Oops. Just hold that for a second. Boom. All right. You gotta go. All right, spike, spike growth. growth right there, and then a uh, bonus action, Shalele on my uh, quarter staff. Okay. Good and check. then I end my turn. Alrighty. So these guys can share as, or they can they can squeeze through a space as small as one inch. So he's going to share Whoa. a spot next to his ally for a second to get advantage on his attack against Magnus, where he's Bad. going to reach out to grab you as well. Does a, wow, even with that, that's a 14 with the advantage. His wrist, get off me. <laughs> get off me. And then he moves back to his position, ashamed. Uh-huh. Right? And these guys. Um... He can't take a step. That was a good one. Dang. If he takes one step, he'll pretty much die. Ain't no way. He would probably just stand there. He's you know dumb. Well, so. he doesn't know because it, oh, it right. shows he has to his make invisible. A, he has to make a check. Yeah, he has to make a wisdom. He has to make a wisdom check. Uh, their wisdom is okay. Uh, sixteen. Uh, let me see. Yeah, what's your DC? Good uh, yeah, that passes. All right. Then, yeah, they would have noticed that the rocks would have become jagged because you're in a dungeon. It would be like jagged rocks, the ground below. Uh, yeah. So he would notice that, and you're just going to hear him make this kind of, like, whispery type of sound towards uh, his fellow sh uh, Shadow Patriots. But he's not gonna move and pass his turn to Magnus. Alright. I'm never gonna get a chance for this spell to be effective again. So Chirac, word of radiance. Oh yeah, that's that's good, because that's a five foot radius. Hit all of them. They all gotta make a womp womp. Okay. People, um, you need to pay attention. What was it called again? Something Word radiance. of Radiance. Word of Radiance? Yeah. Yep, there it is. Yeah. Alright. So you, let's see, you pick a creature or is it multiples? Each creature of your choice within five feet of you has to make a con save. Okay, so four of them. Um, four of them, dude. Let's see here. What is their con? Uh, 15, 10, 18, and 6. One of them saved. I'm sorry? One of them saved. Okay, so two saved, two didn't? No, one did, one saved. One saved. Okay, sorry, you were cutting out, so. Alright, yeah, so one I'm saved. Yeah. No, it's all good. Um, uh, alright, then go ahead and do your, um, do 2d6. Yep, do 2d6. Because you were level 5. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> well, it's enough to kill this one. Kill this one. Um, he's going. He's. We'll say he's the one that saved. So. And then this one takes. 
Okay. If they save, they take no damage, right? That's what it was? I believe that's correct. Okay. Alrighty. Anything else? Yeah, it doesn't say it about half nothing, so yeah. Yeah, so. And then, and then, what if I move away? I'm... Yeah. You killed two of them. Stay on my ground. Stay on oh, ground. Oh, cool. So, all right, well, that, that was a cool spell. That brings us to Adara. All right. I'm going to take my great sword and swing. Bada bada. Um, natural 18 plus 7. That definitely hits. 20. Yep. Eleven points of damage. Alrighty. Eleven points of damage is enough to uh kill this one for sure. Anything else? Uh no, my movement won't get me any further. That's it. Alright. Fortunately he's also not he's gonna hold his action. Uh ooh, here's the here's the arg is that one? Is this one in it or not? Hmm. He's kinda in it. But he's not taking a step. It in is it. in it, yeah. Yeah. It does uh, 2d4 damage every step, right? Yes. Alright, let's make it 1d4 since he's half in it. So okay. So 1d4 as he steps out of it. Alright, 1d4. That's a 4. Oh, man. 4 damage. Alright. That was a good call. I like that, man. He, uh, he steps forward. He reaches out to grab Trogdor. Trogdor does a 16 hit. I don't think it does. Nope. These things are garbage. <laughs> These things suck. <laughs> they were intimidating at first. But <laughs> yeah. They were. I was like, oh, shit, we gotta get beat up. Oh. Right. The shadow figure is gonna go for the one who killed his friends, or if you can call him that. Uh, and go for Magnus. Magnus yeah, does a. Night. Oh my god. Those are dying hit? What? It doesn't? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Danger dice! 25. 30. What up, Elf? Can't even reach. I'm gonna say Crimson just waits. Above table chat. Give me another 1d4 as this one takes a step toward Trogdor. 5, 10, 15. Oh, another 4. Nice. Wow. Wow. And Trogdor, oh, you know what? I'm changing oh, my lady. dice because I know a 14 also doesn't hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, change your dice. <laughs> All right, Roland, you're up. Oh, my oh. turn again. Cool. We're gonna Roland. we're gonna go red and blue today instead here. Uh, give me one second here. 30, what's my max speed? 30, perfect. Oops. Sorry. Where was I? I was here, right? Yeah. 25. 25. And then I'm going to go diagonal. I'm going to whack it with my rapier. Alrighty. Uh, Please kill this thing. Please. <laughs> 14. Uh, 14 does hit. And Whoa! don't forget your sneak attack damage because you have an ally next by it. Yep. Flanking, yeah. Uh, Twenty-one total damage. Twenty-one total damage? Yep. Alrighty, uh, that is a ridiculous amount, but it kills it. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, a ridiculous uh, amount. Uh, it's just, just a lot. So. Break the mirrors, I yell, and then I'm going to run back. I'm going to say, get the one behind you. Can I 
I smash it or is that an action? Uh, I'll let it be an object in action if you want to hit it. Okay. I'm going to hit it on my way back. Yeah, I yell over to Tragdor, get the one behind you. He's, he's still fighting two dudes. Yeah, I'm telling him, get the one behind him. Oh, I'm, I'm not worried about these guys. <laughs> okay. Tragdor, you're up. I ain't running. <laughs> I mean, the one's lucky he moved because I was going to hit them both with one thing, but I'll do a different thing. I'm going to burn two charges on the one. The magic missiles hit both of them. Two for each. Wow. All right. I'm going to uh, redcon real quick and say I took a drink when I got back. A drink? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to be like, oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... All right, so you're doing... Is this from a regular magic missile or from the wand? The wand. So wand. Like, I'm going to use two charges, so it does four instead of three. Okay, so two charges, four things. One, hitting both of them? One each? Yeah. Or yeah. two each? Uh, two each, yeah. Alright, so yeah, you kill both the ones right next to you. Told you I got dude. this. Good job, dude. All right, right, I'm, I'm done with my turn because I'm not one of the, of the spikes. Alright, okay. I'm into that. Um, I'm going to, uh, use my bonus action to do Thorn Whip on the, b the bottom one. Okay. Uh, and let me see if that hits. Does a 14 hit? 14 does hit, yes. Cool. Uh, go ahead and just do the damage to... before, yeah, do the other thing. What's the damage again for us? Should be 1d8. Thorn 1d8? Whip. Let me All double right. check. Thorn whip. Pretty sure it's 1d8. 1d6. Oh, 1d6. Okay. That is a 5. Already. That is a kill. So. Cool. <laughs> and then I'm going to expend the rest of my... Hmm. Uh, hold on, actually, let me see here. I'm going to go right here, and I don't think I can hit him from here with that. No, he's ten feet, so away, so. Actually, I'll go back, and I'll just shoot him with my arrow. Uh, uh he already did an action, you can't just shoot an arrow. No, that was a bonus action. For... Because Thorn, Thorn Whip is not a bonus action. Thorn, Thorn Whip's a cantrip. That doesn't make it a bonus action. They have their own ca casting time. Really? Yeah. Unless it's, um... It can be a bonus action, but I don't think that's one of their spells that's a bonus action. Seriously? Yeah. Wow. A cantrip okay. just means that it's, like, at will, which means it's not a leveled spell, because you can only do one leveled spell per, per round. But you could do a leveled spell and a cantrip. So that's that's the difference in them. Okay. You, you can't do a cantrip and a leveled spell. You can. I could have sworn that I've done. You can't that do before, you, you can't do two leveled spells. You can do a leveled spell and then you can do a cantrip in the same round. Oh, but, but you can only do I one leveled them. spell. Like if the spell has a spell level, you can only do one of those because of the spell plague. So you could technically do Firebolt and Fireball in the same round. Correct. Uh, if you had Quicken Spell. I, if I, if hold you on. use a Sorcery so, Point for Quicken Spell, then yes. So my Thorn Whip can can pull people, right? Ten feet. Could yeah. I also have them crash into the another person so that they could move like I push them? Um, I'd imagine so, but it would have to be, it says pull towards you. Not like mm. move around. Dang. All right. So. I, I guess I just yeah, kill that guy. You pull and... the creature up to ten feet close to you. Oh, I should probably explain. Every time y'all have killed one of these creatures, they're not just like falling over. They're like disappearing. They're like fading away. Okay. Oh, we gotta smash the mirror. Yeah, I'll, I'll smash sure. the mirror next to me if okay. that's if I can do that with my bonus action. I guess. That's fine. That would have been nice to know at the start. Yeah, I'm, I'm oh. sorry. That was my fault. I should have said that when the first one died that they faded so, away. Then when he did fireball, can we say it broke the oh, mirrors? Wait. 
do you think I could, uh... I don't think fire I... breaks me here. Well, the force. While I'm, pulling, while I'm pulling the corpse over to, like, the... the with the thorn whip, could I, all, could I like, smash their, like, body like, into the mirror? Again, there's no corpse, it fades away. Really? They're fading, <laughs> like, they're fading Whatever. away. Whatever. Okay, well, can I use my thorn whip as it's going back to smash a window? The glass. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Um, but yeah, they fade out, uh, and just fade away. And yeah, you get, I'll say that the fireball broke the, the two mirrors it was right next to when it cast. So, uh, let's put a little marker on all the ones that are broken. So you guys have a thing right here. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I think that's it. Yeah, and then I just break uh, the one that was that he was right next to while my thing was contracting away, I guess. Okay, there. There we go. Alright. Okay, Magnus, you are up. Toll the dead on the last one. Uh, sure you don't want to do a cantrip or something? Is it a, or uh, like that, that is it is a cantrip. Uh, that it, oh, it is? Okay, never mind then. Um, it's a wisdom save, right? Wisdom. 16. I don't think that saves. Correct. Oh, Does that nope, save? That he barely made it. Ah, well then. Hmm. Unless my has any effect, but I don't think it does. Did any of the items you give, you bought, give you a bonus that you haven't added? I'm well, pretty sure I thought you bought some. Well, I know some of the items that I bought, I couldn't add. So just double check. Because I'm pretty sure you bought something. Check. If, if you're using no, that, Beyond, that it might have a tomb in. Elf gave me the amulet. My the amulet of the devout. What does it do? The amulet of the devout will give you a plus one to your uh, spell feature, so like your spell attack. Oh, that's if I'm DC. saving, not a previous. Well, it's, it it, it's your DC. it's your attack and then your spell save DC. So it's both of them, um, which we w already upped uh, when you first got that amulet. It also allows you to use your channel divinity one time at no cost. Okay. He made it. Because it says it's no damage. Alrighty. Well then, uh... And it... smash a mirror. Alright. <laughs> Adara, you're up. So, how many mirrors are left? Uh... Looks like four or five. five. Five in the back here. Six. Out on the way. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be one d four if you step into. Oh, that's two. That's another. Uh, that green box Ooh, is yeah. the oh, shit. spell. So, uh, <laughs> you can tell Vela to drop it, and Vela can just drop the spell. That's always an option. Oh, yeah, I could drop the spell, couldn't I? So if I stand here, it's 1d4? Yeah, because you're half in. Okay, I'm just going to stand here. Okay, so... Instead of it Wait, not it... just not going to tell me to drop it? Yeah, you can just tell Vale to drop it All right. I mean, way. can she... Can you drop it on my turn, or do I still have to wait? They, they can just stop focusing on it, so... Yeah, okay. You gotta, you gotta yell to me first, though, so I know. All right, hey, man, drop this thing ah uh, right All right. she drops it okay thank you all right and then i'm gonna take a swing at this gentleman <laughs> gentleman all right so you swing, <laughs> you swing at gentleman. Uh, you swing at, at shadow trogdor go ahead yep um that is 14 to hit Alrighty, a 14 does hit, and your minimum damage is going to cause this one to disappear as well. Okay. You all are welcome to finish yeah. doing whatever you do in the hallway. Finish off the mirrors. Okay. Kill it smash the mirrors. Crash. No, Baelish that smash that one because, see? If you didn't say anything, we wouldn't have been here. Hey, I didn't know, okay? I I just thought that it was going to be alerting. I j I was just worried about the noise you guys were making. I didn't know it was going to be a trap. 
Hey, I, I kind of see something. Does a Trogdor? Does a um? I'm gonna run up. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Uh, does a 19 hit Trogdor? That does. All right. So Trogdor, you get shot by an arrow from a goblin that peeks his head around the corner. <laughs> you take six damage from the arrow, and the goblin is going to run back into the hallway. <laughs> Uh, there's a goblin down this hallway shot me with an arrow. I'm gonna go kick its ass if you guys want to come. Right, yeah, I'm right behind you. I'm good. I'm gonna go kick its ass right, if you guys want to come. I'm gonna smash one of these mirrors. Okay. Yeah. Are you guys smash smashing the, the rest way, of the mirror on the way? Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. So I'll just. Everyone's gonna... smashing up at, at all the mirrors. There we go. One big line. Mirrors. Mirrors are smashed. Mirror smashing. Smashy stuff. smash. Mirror smash. 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 Right on. I'll say Crimson comes with y'all. Uh, Goblin, Goblin went this way. I'm going after that little bastard. All right, man, shot we're me. coming. We're coming. Are you all right, dude? All right, you, you see the band -aid? hallway curve? No, I don't need a band aid. All right, man, just checking. Uh, you know we're like into an ambush, right? Oh, I don't care. You see the goblin look back at you, and as you guys enter the hallway, he quickly slams the door shut behind him. Magnus, did you hear him say anything? Yeah, I mean, I don't know what, I mean, did, what, did he say anything specific? Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I don't know. They just kind of sounds like grunts to me. Well, I mean, I I can speak Goblin. I, That's I what she's you asking. That's yeah. I know you can. I, I'm adding the magic voice of the sky. <laughs> Did I understand anything that was significant that the Goblin was saying? Okay. Alrighty. Uh, so you, say you see a, a door. Uh, on the south side, where char door, where you're standing, you see a closed door there, and you see the door in front of you that you saw the goblin go through and close behind them. Is Wait. it locked? Which one? Hold on. The one that the goblin went in. Uh, you can try the handle. I'll try the handle. The handle Careful. turns. Is there a keyhole? Yeah, I'm, I'm, just... I'm gonna shield up. Probably. I'm gonna step back behind everybody. And use Mage Hand to open the door. Come on. Okay. I'm gonna hold up my shield and brace. Alright, so I'll let your shield count as the plus five for right now, just to make it easy. As three goblins let off arrows. Uh, two... I mean, they're going for the first people in the lane, so... I, the goblin up top looks like he's going to go for Adara, and the two in the bottom are going to go for Trogdor. Adara does a... Dara's I'm all the way corner. in the back. Yeah, she's around oh, the corner. Oh, sorry. Oh, Magnus is there. Sorry. The, yeah. Yeah. The, numbers, the numbers are blocking it. Sorry. Magnus does a 23. Yeah. Yes, it does. All right. Trogdor does a 13. Nope. And does a, does a 6. So, nope. So just Magnus is going to get hit by an arrow as that door is flung open, taking six damage himself. And we will initiate what did, combat. What did you just say about plus five? Trogdor said I, he was bracing himself. I didn't say I'm bracing myself for anything. Oh, I did. I oh, did. you did? So you yeah, should... I said I was, yeah, I was bracing shield. myself with my shield. Yeah, yeah, so you would have been a 24. You get a plus five while you're bracing oh, yourself. Oh, wait, this is the wrong one. So 24 okay. would not have hit, so... Okay. So, I didn't understand what that plus five thing Yeah, was. Uh, like, I was just counting it like the shield spell. Okay. Oh, because I raised my shield and was getting ready. Yeah, and I was just okay. like, shield spell just makes the most sense. Make it clean. But yeah. I All right. I just, I just got a little... That was cool, man. Right on. A little confundled. All good. Ooh, All right. That was close, too. <laughs> so, let me do this before I do the turn order. Let's Big check. mistakes, goblin. It's going to be a little annoying, so I'm going to have to do this, but it's okay. Alrighty. 
Boom. Add turn. And My shalala is still on, work. right? Because this was like it's really concentration. Close. So if you have it on, oh, your shalala would have canceled out your. You would have lost the shalala when you did your spike oh. move, actually. So. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Oh, man, come on. Man, I'm rolling your initiative, Strong. Oh, I forgot to put my initiative in. Alright, the shadow duplicates are gone. Alright, go. I mean, I did good on the first one. Roland, you're probably uh, high of me. You're probably I'm higher rolling. than me. Great tonight, guys. Uh, what's your dex? But lower than yours. Mine's a plus two. Dean. Okay, yes. Dean, do I have enough time time to ask yell to these goblins, ask them why the hell they're shooting at us before this combat starts? In goblin. That is completely up to you if you want to do that. I want to try to do that. Yes. All right. On Can your I turn the combat? You go ahead and do that. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, I understand. I was like... like he asked before, before like, combat. Uh, yeah, they he asked like, before they combat. Shot, but they already yeah. shot y'all. Before combat was three turns ago. You know what I mean? Ugh, yeah, okay. fair. Should have done it when the door opened. Do you stink? Uh, okay. Well, uh, it's still... You... We still have seven seconds to talk to them my, yeah, outside my... of our turns, though. Yeah, you so can, you, you can, can say something. You do have your mage hand, so... Um, just to be completely fair and blunt, you could mage hand that door back shut and then try and talk through the door to them instead of going straight into combat. If that's Barrel, they shot at them, us. I don't but... think Roland would do that. Yep, so... Oh, I'm trying to get What if somebody tells man. them to close... Yeah, like, close it! Close it! No. <laughs> Damn it. No. He ain't, gonna, he ain't gonna close it. He is not gonna close it. He wants to kill him. You shoot at us, you well, die. All right, whatever. Okay. Sorry, I'm still putting numbers in. Oh, you're good. Uh, you okay? Sound is, yeah. <laughs> it sounded like you drank water and then you reacted. <laughs> not like it was water. <laughs> no, it's it's yeah. not water. <laughs> I would say so. I, I had I had water and I had alcohol on my desk and I accidentally I but did the alcohol and Oops. I was like, oh, that's not water. Uh, <laughs> Oops, that was vodka. <laughs> <laughs> oh Boy, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if there's any duplicates now. I'm sure there is. All right, so Roland, you went above Vela. That's fine. Okay, the duplicates there. Um, Magnus, what's yours? 14? Uh, what? No, my ro I rolled 15. Or you no, my dex your dex, here. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, Alright, roll a, roll a flat 20 to go against one. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Boom. Alright, he goes first. <laughs> that was a great roll. Woohoo! Good time to, to waste a low roll, to be honest. So. <laughs> well, you know. Uh, Trogdor, oh, yeah. <laughs> you're also uh, 14 decks, yeah? Trogdor? Earth to Trogdor. Are you there? Oh, what? I'll just. Are you, are you a 14 decks as well, yes? Am I, who am, I, am I not talking loud? No, you're, I hear no, you. I'm, you, I'm you, scrolling up. Yes, 14 <laughs> <I> Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, flat roll off, please. I thought I was having mic issues. Alright, you win, so you go before they do. No, I have a child yelling at me. Ah, well, that'll do it too. Alright, as usual, Roland gets to go first. Uh, I'm gonna insight check this one. Due to my inquisitive. Oh, detective, yes. Oh yes. my god, I totally forgot you had that. <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> um, ooh, 
What's the roll against? A... As a bonus action, you make a wisdom check against a creature you can see. Against third deception. Yeah, against third deception. Okay, so dex. Wisdom. Or charisma. Sorry. Mine's a wisdom. Ooh, minus. Okay. Um, I got a 18 total. That... Where's my wisdom? It matches. Do it again. So it beats. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, nope. it beats, so... I guess no uh, advantage. Beat it, beat. Wait, does it beat? Do you beat? See, I don't know if that means you beat or I beat. At the I, third oh, level, yeah. da, 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 <laughs> as a bonus action, you make a wisdom check against a creature you that you can see. Yada yada, contested by their target's charisma deception check. Yeah, we tied, and we're both trying to go at each other, so you can't if beat. You... Meet and beat rule only works if it's one one away. So Do I we think, just want to re-roll? Yeah, just re-roll it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, you probably got this. What did you roll? Eight. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> I got. I rolled a ten flats. That's the first time the meets and beats rule did not apply. <laughs> <laughs> did not. <laughs> like, uh... oh, so man. this is vicious crossbow. All right, fair enough. Go ahead. Um. 23. 23. Oh, no. Sorry, this goblin's wearing... Yeah, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> Top, bottom, or front? Which one? Top. Top. Alrighty. Probably gonna kill it. Uh, 8 damage. <laughs> yep. Yeah, nice little shot to the face. And it goes down. Alrighty. Anything else? Nope. Alrighty. Valeth, you are up. Alright, I'll just... Let's see, hold on. Um... I'll go right... I'm gonna go, like, right here. 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 And then there. Okay. And then Thorn Whip. Uh, oh, that can, guy right You're in inside the room, right? So you can see a little better? Yeah. Cool. Give you a, a good chunk of the room. Well Thorn done. whip. Oh, sorry. It's not nearly as empty as. Uh, I didn't want them to show up on turn order before you saw them. So. <laughs> no, there's never more than just one. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't want them to show up on turn order. So I... <laughs> okay, I just see that, and I just Dang. close the door. I just I go back, and I just close the door. <laughs> That's. Oh, you took a step away. I take a step away, and I just close the door. All right, as you stepped away, that would have been an opportunity attack before you close the door. I'll do that disadvantage with the door being in the way from the bugbear that you stepped away from. Uh, <laughs> with the disadvantage, that is still going to be a 16. Does a 16 hit? No. Alrighty, he, uh, he hits the door as you close it. All right, uh -huh. and then as for the final thing, um, I'm just going to... Put. I'm gonna. Oh shit! Hold on. Let me see what I have. Give me a second. Give me a second. I gotta make what sure. What you have is a heart attack, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> heart attack. Don't worry, it's just, isn't the it's just object interaction? Isn't the object interaction the action? Uh, yeah, but I can. No, the object interaction is not. Uh, an action. Oh really? Object interaction. Uh, it's action, bonus action, object interaction, and then your reaction. Those. Are, that's your action economy. So closing okay. the door is your object interaction. You'll have to use your action to reopen that door. Okay. You guys see that I pull out a random rod uh, out of nowhere and put it straight up against the uh, the door. Um, and then I click a button and it just kind of floats there in place. And uh, I turn to them and I'm, and I'm just like, there's a lot of goblins there. All right, well, that was your action there, so... Anything else, Vela? No? Uh, no, I just said there's a lot of goblins there. And there's just the the, the floating rod right there now. Because that was my action. All right. 
Uh, you hear the door try to open, but it just slams against that uh, that rod, the rod of immovable, and the immovable rod. That's what's called. Uh, but yeah, so I guess nothing else happens. Uh, yeah. They're gonna all right, hold. so um... they're gonna <laughs> hold. Magnus, you're up. I don't know what the hell to do. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> well, you could talk to them, yeah. like you were like you were going oh, to. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. That door won't move, right? Yeah, it will not move. Oh, okay. Sweet. Well, I'm gonna go up to where these guys can hear me. Hey. Hey, Ricky. <laughs> Ricky. <Guys. laughs> uh, talk to my goblin. Ain't Goblin, you're going to talk to him? Yeah. Okay. What the hell's wrong with you guys? Uh, you'll hear the one behind the door respond in, uh, in, in, uh, oh. you'll hear him try to respond in Goblin. But it just makes the sound of what a goblin would sound like if they were talking. But there's no actual words being formed. It's almost like an imitation is being made of the goblin uh, language. Guys, I don't think we're uh, dealing... There's something wrong with these goblins, man. I mean, one was a bugbear. Bug you got a bugbear in that group, aren't they? Yeah, bugbears, hobgoblins. Bugbears Hob should speak goblin. Are we they pausing? Do. Not the... I don't know. So I'm gonna ask: Are we straight pausing the fight? Because next up would have been uh, Crimson, or I'm sorry, what's his name again? Desmond. Desmond. And I don't know what to have him do. Because I don't know what y'all want yeah, to do. Yeah, we're pausing it while we're talking about all this stuff right now, I'm pretty sure. I got we're... this! I'm, I'm just, not moving just, that rod. I, I am not moving that rod until we get have Get rid of that rod and get the hell out of the way. I am we'll not moving them. that rod until we, we until we have a plan. We will I have a plan. Them. The and room is not bigger than a 20-foot radius. It takes an action <laughs> to, It takes an action to press the button and move the rod once again. So that is also an option. These guys can give us intel on this dungeon. They don't speak. Yeah, why goblin? Not? There's a hobgoblin and there's a bugbear in there too. Maybe one of them can talk. Can any of them talk? Can any of you guys talk? What's wrong with you guys? I have plenty of, of languages to go through. Uh, as far as he can get. Um, Trogdor hop. is up. Okay, Trogdor has go, to Trog. make the next choice. Man, I can't move the open the door, correct? Yeah. If you push the button and move the rod, I lose my turn. That these are no the move the the rod can only be uh, called off by the original person. That's so true. I'd have to press uh, the button. It, is there a keyhole I can see through? Let me check up the immovable rod. I'm pretty sure that's that doesn't have to be the original person. I'm pretty sure it was the original person when I read it. You can use your action to press a button, which costs the rod magic device until you or another creature uses an action to push the button again. The rod doesn't move. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So it could be anyone. It's just. Hey man, don't do that to me, dude. Let me get the hell out of the way. Now, that's why it doesn't that require be, attunement. You're not gonna be a problem. If it had a, an attunement aspect, then yeah, it would be just you. But. Oh, not, okay. It's not an I attunement see, thing. I see. Could I, could I meta and back up a little bit? No, you don't need to back up. You're fine. It's not, no, no, no. <laughs> scary. Uh, that's Trogdor's turn. So. Is there a keyhole I can see through? On uh, what? The door that you're next on the to? Door, on the door, no, on the door that's got the stupid rod in front of it. Um, what a question. Does this What thing, a question. Do these doors have keyholes? Or some type of crack that I can see peer through.
get down, man, and look through the crack in the floor, man. I mean, I'm, I'm I, sure it any has, crack. I'm sure it has cracks, but I don't believe it has a keyhole lock. I Can think. I see into the room? Not like if you look, if you peer through the hole, I guess. Why? Fireball, middle of the room. Fireball? Yeah, fireball, middle of the room. Don't you need? Hold on, let me look at fireball. I get the. I have to be able to see a spot. From in... your pointing finger to a point you choose blossoms with a low roar. A bright streak flashes from your pointing finger. So. Also, Ricky said oh, we that... found a new one. What does that mean? Oh, here's another user. Here's another chat, right? I mean, it is. It doesn't say. What does Ricky like... mean? I found a new one. We found a new I have one. No idea. Did you guys uh, have I'll, a new one? I'll, I'll, I'll fuck with them. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't really specify anything on the doors, but I imagine it would be a standard wooden door that would be fairly solid, but you can kind of. Oh, it's got the black outline. I mean, it's not. It's 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 hard to say. I don't know if you could like see. Man, I don't want to. You know the what? Thing you is... know what? Why am I? Well, I got systems for this. All right. So, heads or tails, charred door. Tails. Tails. It is. You can see through it. All right then. <laughs> oh, fireball! All of them. That is magnificent. <laughs> I was I was gonna say the thing is that I I closed the door but I left the movable rod like a tiny bit so that when the bugbear tried to smash through then there's a little bit of a crease to like peer yeah, through you know. We can't rewind, man. All right. Well, I mean. So let me go ahead and give you some numbers. Uh, we have a um, a sixteen and eight. An 18, and oh, I should be adding two to these. I'm sorry. An uh, 18, a 10, uh, dirty 20, dirty 20, nat 20, nat 20. One, two, Ooh. three, four, five, six. I think your dice are weighted. That's crazy. Yeah, can we get a dice check? Four, yeah. <laughs> nine, and six. I just got my good numbers first. That's all. <laughs> okay. All right, anything above a 17 passes and gets half damage. All right, so... F one, two, it was Off track of how many people you had. It was three. That that three, three will take half, two will take none, and the rest are probably dead. So, <coughs> I mean, most of them are probably dead regardless. So I half, mean, three, of that, 19. half of that is 10. So even 19 though, damage? So... Uh, you gotta these, do better than that, man. All of these die, even with 10 damage. That's... And then two of them don't take any damage um, because they dodge or whatever. They got that 20s, so they were covered. It's kind of weird that immovable uh, rod. We pretty yeah, much did yeah. everything. You could undo Good the door so you get five, in now. Man. High five, man. It's, yeah, it's kind of weird how immovable rod is an action when that could be like object interaction. When did you think? Oh, Move myself forward to make it look like I actually looked under the door. All right. Uh, thank you. Uh, Adari, you are up. All right. Open the door. I'm going to move this rod. Okay, that is an action. I saw you move 30 yep. feet. How much do you have left? 10. 10 more? All right, so you grab the rod. That was an action. Um... You got 10 more feet. Are you going to open the door and go in, or what are you doing? Uh, Take the rod and run. <laughs> I mean, you could look gonna... through and see that there's only two. Yeah, but I can't... Can I still hit anyone at this point, or no? Because I used my action. No, you used your action. So you got nothing left. Then. Okay. Well, I'll just pop the door open and back up. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> Rubber and hit behind the door. Keep rolling. 
some eyesight into the room. I don't. I don't think Roland can shoot through all these people. Alrighty. I don't know. He's so, a good shot. Five, Let's try. Fifteen. You hear the door south of you open up before you oh hear a complete step back. And the two... Ready? I'm gonna grab my removal rod, because it's like right next to me. I think that's fine. Right? Oh, I, think it, I think it's in Adara's hands. The two bugbears it's that Adara's have hand. been holding their action for an ambush surprise attack are going to both attack. Uh, we'll do one against Magnus and one against Trogdor. Uh, so, the first one... Against Magnus. Magnus does a 19 hit. Oh. I'm guessing that's a yes. Magnus? Magnus? Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My son's asking me something. No yes. worries. Yes. So, oh, cool. they have a surprise attack damage bonus, so they are going to do a total of. That's 10, and then total of only 16 damage for Magnus. Oh, Lord. And then for Trogdor, that is a nat 20. What's their plus? What's their plus? Uh, four, I guess. Oh, uh, then okay, never mind then. <laughs> All right, so Trogdor, you're going to take nine plus 11, so that's 20, 24 plus the ambush bonus of... I'm moving that band aid now. <laughs> 24 plus six is 30, plus six, 36 damage for Trogdor. Yeah, I'm gonna need that band aid there, uh, bub. Yeah, I already planned on that. Oh, yeah, we're good. But it was that was their held action, and it was this goblin's oh, turn, and he is going to shoot an arrow, and he's gonna go for Valeth in the back since his uh, well, he only rolled a seven, so. He's okay. <laughs> he sucks. What? 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 Rolling your turn. Um. I'm sorry. Was this door opened or no? It was opened. Yeah. Okay. So, Rolling, you can see the uh, you can see that bugbear that's standing. Which there. one? You can, from where you're standing, you can actually see all okay. three, all, you can see all three bugbears, from where you are. Because all the doors are now open. So. Mm -hmm. I am going to go here. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay, you're and... running... How, can you show me the movement? Because it looks like you ran past an enemy. Nope, I went diagonal. Yeah, just show me the movement, five square. So it's not going to let me because I have to run through everybody. Well, use your arrow key and it should let you go one at a time, right? What, five, ten... Oh, sorry. Yeah, and then down, then down here. Okay. And so then you diagonal. Went, you went through your friends to go away. Around. Yeah. Okay, that's a smart movement. I like it. Uh, you would see the rest of these, just so that you have the full vision. Sorry, I'm just going to move myself so I can see. There you go. The one in front of me, is that an enemy or is that they're a, all in, they're a all friendly? Enemy. They're all enemies. They're all enemies? N no, the one in front of me. North of you. That's uh, north, me. that is Trogdor. Okay. Um, yeah, you, don't hit me, please. I know y'all fought like eight of them in the last hallway, but you should change your border colors so nobody. <laughs> yeah, I might need to change my border, Dean, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna whack this one with the rapier. Give him the old whack, whack a do. 
Wackadoodle. Wackadoodle. Uh, 27? 27 does hit, yes. With sneak attack coming up. Big whammy, big whammy, big whammy, big whammy. Sorry. <laughs> 22 total damage. Ooh, that is really nice, but he is still standing, but now bloodied. And as you hit him, he lets out a, a like a garbled kind of yelp type of sound that you haven't really heard from bugbears previously. <laughs> Similar. Bonus action, Some, disengage. Like <laughs> Can you how, how much movement do you have? Bonus action, disengage. That doesn't give you movement, though. That just means they can't opportunity attack. Um, that would be bonus action dash you're thinking of. Yeah. Okay, then I still have movement, which would put me on top gotcha. of my teammates. 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, 10 more, and you don't have any more diagonals, and you can't end your turn on top of an, uh, an ally. So, okay, then I'll just disengage, and... Uh, oh, I can do this. 5. No, I can't. No, oh, I can't. Take the can hits, I? man. Just take the hit. Stop being a Can I do that? No, that. Can I do that? It's a wall. That's a wall. Oh, yeah, that's a wall. Uh, just take the hits, man. You can't do nothing. <laughs> no, I can. You just have to let me think and. Yeah, just give him a second. <laughs> Jeez, Trogdor. I didn't realize I hurt you that bad. <laughs> I just, yeah. I, just I need a band aid. <laughs> I just saw your help. Oh my gosh. Okay. If it was only um, like plus one, I would have been fine. I am going to try and hide. Ooh. And just like drop to the floor and try to like do you have get as the, tiny as I can. You have the cloak of elven kind, right? Yes, I do. All right, so with that, I'm not going to impose disadvantage on you. So go ahead. This mofo going to disappear in the middle of a fight. <laughs> Ro oh. Rogues be like... He's now a curtain. You actually have... Hold on, actually looking at it, you, you have 35 movement, and you only moved 5, 10, 15, 20. So you had 15 more. I don't know if that changes your plan. No, I want to hide. Okay. All right. Go ahead and roll your stealth. 29. That's a nat 20. Oh, well then I will go ahead and say that you smacked him and while he was wiping the blood from his face, you just disappeared into the rock. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Valeth, you are up. All right. I'm going to cast... I'm going to cast Shalele. Okay. And then... Move right here and smack the bugbear. Go for it. Okay. Ignore that, by the way. Oh, okay. Let me uh, give okay. you the rest of the room since you're actually inside of it now. Yeah. Give me a second. I gotta look at what my quarter staff gives me. There's five more enemies down there. Okay. Not five. <laughs> One. Big guy. Uh, that that was... is a. Oh. Dirty 20. Dirty 20 to hit. Ah, uh, that does hit, yes. Okay. She just ignored you, John, or she's like, I'm out. Leave it to Magnus. Um, okay. Yeah, like, oh, crap. Alright, Shalele, that is, with the Shalele, that turns into a D8, so. I say 7 plus 4, so. 11. I hit him with 11. 11 points, not bad. Alright, anything else? Um... You already did bonus action and action, so... Yeah, I can't do nothing. You can try moving again if you want. I will go right here. Can I do that? Just to block the, this bugbear if he wants to hit? Yeah, I from... guess that's fine. You know, you're kind of standing in the doorway, but I'll allow it. 
All right, so the uh, the bugbear that attacked you, Magnus, is gonna go for another thwack. This one, no surprise or nothing. So just uh, oof. does an eleven hit? What? No. No, it does not. All right. Well, the other one. How did he surprise me the first time? I got alert, man. You had an alert and you were in combat, so it was not like you didn't know that there was a combat happening, but they oh, yeah. you didn't know that they were in that Oh, door. hold up. Sorry. No, I have something that doesn't allow us to be surprised. Just for... Never mind, we can't red combat. Well, it's not sure. surprised. It's ambush. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't a... Su okay, so your weapon of warning and your alert. You guys were already in combat and you knew the enemies were here. But you didn't know to check that door, or rather, you didn't check that door. You just focused on the one door. It said we can't be surprised. And you weren't surprised. Surprise and ambush yes. are two different door. things, I think. My wording is you can't be surprised. I will allow it. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'll keep that. I'll keep that in mind. I didn't. I didn't know it was specific. You can't be surprised specifically. Because I thought it was more like you can't, like you would know if there's enemies around, which no, it, you were aware. Yeah, be which I figured you are aware they're around, but no one checked yeah. that south door for a whole round, so I figured that cleared a surprise uh, thing. So, but I will keep that in mind yeah. moving forward. I'm uh, the one that got hurt a lot, oh, and I understand uh, that makes sense to me. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, uh, I'll that's my it. bad. I uh, I guess I. <laughs> All, it's all about it's all about the yeah. wording, right? All about the wording. I, I forgot about it too, so that's my bad. Well, I didn't forget, well, but I figured it counted way. because you guys knew, and I gave it a round for y'all to check the door, and no one did. So mm -hmm. that's why you're I the magic voice in the sky, man. Well, I, I still want to play fair, you know. So <laughs> we're all here to have fun. Yeah, it's one of my. Uh, I guess self-governing rules is that if I can't explain why I do it, I can't do it. So, um, anyways, the other one's gonna go for you, Magnus, and that is a okay. 19. Does that hit? That one does. All right, he now doesn't I'm get hurting. he doesn't get his extra damage. It's just gonna be a regular hit, but the regular hit still does 13 damage. Let's see, that still hurts. I'm sure it does. All right, the one that uh, Valeth attacked, Valeth, he is going to come for you. And he rolled a nat 1. He's going to he's going <laughs> to do nothing to you. And instead, he is going to swing his morning star and hit the doorway instead of you knocking the morning star to the ground, which he'll use his object interaction to pick it back up. Dumbass. Magnus. All right, Magnus, you're, you're gonna, going to clutch. You, you're going to help little Truggy, baby? Hey, Mama, I need your help. <laughs> <laughs> All I said was I might need a Band-Aid. I didn't say I needed one right this second. Well, I'm going to use my I might need a nap over this. The free charge. It. <laughs> it's my necklace set. Oh, I gotta go to my inventory. That's why. Yep, this will be your inventory. necklaces channel divinity to do your thing, right? Yes, correct. Sorry, Dean, I just have a quick question. Yep. So it says I have a cunning action and I would also have a bonus action, right? Or is my cunning action my bonus action? I think your cunning action is your bonus action. Cunning action is just lets you use dash, disengage, disengage and hide as a bonus action. Right? Okay, perfect, yeah. So... The number is going to be seven. All right, so seven temporary hit points, but that will be at the end of the turn, and that counts as your bonus action, correct? Uh, that's my action. My bonus action, I'm going to use healing word. First level? Oh. Oh, I do have an option, don't I? Always. What is? Yeah, you what can go up to. You, I... you get another uh, healing word. Does a D4, and then every upcast is another D4 on top of it. So up to third level, you can do. Which also, I think you have, yeah, you have aura vitality. I think that is also a bonus oh. action. 
Is that a bonus action? No, that's an action. I misspoke. That, yeah, that's why I chose the channel divinity first, and if I'm still alive, then I'm out the door. But just remember, temporary I health points cannot though. pick up a fallen friend. Just remember that. Okay, so. But yeah, you can use a uh, healing word, and every upcast is another D4. What level would you like to cast to that? Okay, let's see here. I got. I only got two third roll. No, I don't need to say that out loud. <laughs> it's all done now, so. I, I, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all good. I, I caught myself. I caught myself. I'm going to cast it at Whoa! second level. Second level? Alright, 2d4 plus 4 for, uh, for Chogdor, I'm uh, presuming. Yes. Yes. Alright. Go ahead and roll it. 2d4 plus 4, please. Alright, 11 health for... What? Rolled the same thing twice. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty wild. Oh, but, uh, I did not really do that. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, 11 health for Trogdor. Um, and then, uh, yeah, you can take your plus 7, Magnus. Anything else for you? Alright. All right. That, well, that's my bonus action, so that's the end of my turn. Alright, yeah, just throw the seven on top of your main health, because, uh... Well, no, do it separate, because it can change every time, so... Like, like we were doing on the red circle? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alright. This one's gonna line up a little bit better. And he's gonna try and shoot Dismond. Ooh, that is a 22. I do believe that hits Boy. Desmond. So that will be seven damage as Desmond takes his first hit. All right. Kitty got a little scratchy. Oh, the one in the back is gonna do the same. To be fair, they were gonna go for Roland. But they're going to team up on the scary cat in the back, and that's a 17, that's another hit, and that's minimal damage of, I think, 3, yep, 3 damage, minus 3. Alrighty, now it's this guy's turn, and since his idea has been spoiled, he's going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and uh, he's going to come up there, Valith. Because they don't know who cast the fireball, just so you know. Uh, but that's only a six, so I do believe that misses. Oh yeah, and they go after the tiefling. Well, you did because they assume the that the tiefling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but they miss with a six, so that brings us to Dismond. Which let's see, what would Dismond want to do? He's a long. S oh no, he's a he's a he's a gun guy. That's right. Um, I guess he'll just aim his. Pepper box, which I didn't put the range on that, but I'm pretty sure it's long enough to hit this bugbear directly in front of him. 20, 20 plus 7. Uh, 19 does hit, so 1d10 plus 4. That's 14 damage. He's going to go for it again because he's using his... He's the art of... No, he's a fighter. And that's not a magical pepper box, so it has to reload. I think. I'm not super familiar with the firearm aspect of the game. Pepper box. Six shots before it reloads. So yeah, he's just gonna do it again. Thank you. Alrighty. 1d20 plus 7. And it's another hit. 1d10 plus 4. And so, altogether, 20 damage as he does two shots with his extra attack included. And you guys see uh, two holes into the uh, the bugbear's stomach, but somehow he remains standing. Boo. Gross. We're, we're in deep shit. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30-ish. Yeah, he can stand there. Sure. Um, and he's going to uh, 
shoot Desmond or uh, Desmond. He's the only one that he can they can reach. So uh, that's only a ten. That's a miss. Uh, this goblin. Five ten, and he's gonna shoot at Adara. Does a twenty three hit Adara? Yeah. Yeah, you're here too. Uh, that's four, that's, yeah, you're here too. It's <laughs> four damage for Adara. <laughs> uh, Trogdor, you, you are up. Potions, action, bonus action, object. What was that again? Action, bonus action, uh, object interaction, and reaction. That's your action economy. Oh, no, that what what's a potion considered? Oh, uh, if you you can do an action or a bonus action. Oh, okay. So bonus actions are possibly okay. So we're not gonna worry about that yet. I'm gonna go right here and uh, level two agonizer scorcher. Uh, where'd you move from? From right next to ro next to, to uh, Magnus. Okay, cool, cool. So that you will be a set, does a thirteen hit? <laughs> nope. Lucky you. <laughs> Uh, go ahead. Lucky, <laughs> need, I need, uh, I believe it's Dex. Yeah, yeah, sorcerer. What are you doing? Yeah, I need, I need Dex Agonizer Scorcher. I going across everything. Show me your, uh, show me your range. Is it a straight line like that? Okay. Straight line beam 30 foot from me. Alright. Uh, it looks like it also hits Magnus in that way, so Magnus has to make the save as well. Uh, I'll use I'll use one of my sorcery points to uh, save him, no matter what. All right, so he'll take half damage, I guess. Uh, that is a five, a five and a nine from the two bugbears, the three goblins, a four, a eleven, and an eight. Everyone died. Everyone Everybody died. dies. <laughs> Everyone dies. But go ahead and roll the damage just to, just to see. Yeah, thirteen damage. And you get half of that, so seven for you, Magnus. Okay, that still hurts. <laughs> I mean, hurts. thanks for the worse. thanks for the heals. Here's some fire. This is why I never, I try never to be around you, man. I survived and spit in my teeth and still and still oh, killed more I people. That up. I should have taken it off the, bo the bonus. Oh, yeah, because it was seven, so yeah. You, you can yeah. plus seven back and just... Ah, so I didn't do anything to you. You're fine. Yeah, let me add Cuff seven. it up, Buttercup. <laughs> add seven to the red. All right. Nah, that's... <laughs> All right. Point two, right? Yeah, well, plus seven. Yeah, I'm a, no, I'm going to call I'm gonna call my turn. All right, you can anything. add the plus seven to your red circle for your temporary HP. Uh, I just did. And Adara, you were up. All right. You lucky I didn't have my concentration spell up. Two attacks. At this... uh, I'll. You would. Uh, I'll, I'll say that because of our conversation a second ago. Uh, Magnus, you can sense that maybe you guys should check your flank. But you can go ahead, Adara. Uh, announce that to everybody. Hey, everybody. <laughs> There's something going on. We need to. We need to check our flanks, yo. Adar, does that change yeah. anything for you or no? What? I, I don't know. understand what that means. So. Well, then no, no. it doesn't. So go ahead, Adar. Check behind you. <laughs> no, it's all good. It is what it is. What's behind me? I need a cat. <laughs> My <It's> ally. A... <laughs> That's not enough for a conversation, guys. So, Adar, if you don't get it, then uh, do what you're going to do. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> it's alright, you're a barbarian. You're not a thinker, you're a swinger. You're th <laughs> exactly! <laughs> Burn the club. I mean, I'm kind of oh. smart, but like, I don't care right now. <laughs> um, I don't care right now, 19. I just want to kill people. So, okay. Yeah, 19. Plus, I, a 19? <laughs> yeah. Uh, 19 and I'm gonna rage. Hit. Oh, okay. Uh, are you raging before yes. swinging or after? Yeah, before. Okay. I say it. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, just remember you say it beforehand. Uh, I got me... distracted by the flanking thing. And you are C, correct? <laughs> We're still going with C? Yes. Alrighty, so dark blue. 
Alrighty. You got, and the 19 does hit. So go ahead and do your uh, 2d8 plus 5, please. <laughs> Why is it plus. F oh, yeah. Because it's the plus 1. Okay. 12. 12 Total? damage. Alright. And who's taking the 5 from the lightning? Mm -hmm. Uh, same one. Alright, and that's a deck save, which is a 10. Give me that 1d6. Three. Three damage. Alrighty. And you can and take uh, have the seven temporary health points. Right. I have a second attack now. Oh, that's right. I you do have extra attack. Go ahead and kill him. <laughs> because you're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Does uh, your... Yeah, your C thing only hits once, right? That's not like a every time thing? Yeah. Yeah, it's just a, my bonus action. Okay, just double checking. Yeah. Okay. Then, yeah, go ahead and uh, uh, do your second attack. Yeah, that's gonna kill him. Um, what'd, you, what'd you roll? Six, 16 points. Six. Oh, what was the attack? 20. Oh, yeah, that hits. Yeah. Alrighty. Alright, so you do make him fall. And as he falls, you feel... Uh, after like one second before his body even hits the ground, you feel something try and push itself into your head. I need a save from you. What is the save? Probably a wisdom save, I I'd assume. And we see this shit happening? Nope. Well, whoever called out, watch out, probably is. Yeah, no, like this it. is this is a. There's no way, even with alert, y'all would have not known this. Which I'll mm. explain after, of course. Okay. Okay. So we don't see nothing. This is just no. Nope, this this happens. This happens almost instantaneously before the body even hits the ground after this attack. Um, Damn. Oh wait, I think I know what's so going on. So it's a intelligence contest. So we roll. Oh, each. Shit, we're all screwed. So use. <laughs> yeah, we're all screwed. So this isn't a save; it's a contest. So use Can, your intelligence what? modifier. So a d20 okay. plus two for you versus my intelligence roll. Okay. We're screwed. <laughs> yeah. Not we're necessarily. A little I rolled a sixteen. We'll you... you rolled a what? You just got zombified. Sixteen. All right, it rolled a seven, so you did win. Ha! Huh. Uh, Screw y'all for doubting me. Doubting? <laughs> what are you talking about? So, you don't even know what's going on! <laughs> so as this fails, let me just double check this. I just realized you got a five for initiative. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> As this fails, you'll see the, the creature um, kind of fall from where Adara's head is to the ground. And this is what you see fall to the ground. Oh, I knew Ooh. it! I knew it! And almost Love right it. after it falls to the ground, you see I see it kind of just literally disappear as it teleports away. Don't think attacks uh, me. It's gonna kill itself. Can I? Uh, I I can I can do a history check. Could I to figure out what that was? Could I? You guys saw it for just the briefest moment before it teleported away. And this we, thing, we this thing combat. is like maybe the size of your fist. It's not like huge. It's like super small. I knew it though. I knew it. It's like a brain. Yeah. Little brain with legs. Hmm. Yeah, a little brain right. with legs. Anything else, Dar? If you played Baldur's Gate, you'd probably know what that thing is. Also probably explains why he doesn't speak real goblin. <laughs> yeah. But my character, yeah. I don't know if he would okay. figure that, make that connection or not. So that it for you, Adar? That's it. Yep. Already. With him thinking all the bugbears are dead. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5, 10. You'll feel that threat that you felt a second ago, Magnus, dissipate. 
Yeah. 10, 15, okay. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Okay. Uh, Roland, you are up. Um, how does this work? Is unhiding an action? Um, I mean, once you start moving, you're not hiding, right? So I would say that it's kind of like being prone, so you get like half your movement. Okay. Um, which I'll round. It's supposed to be rounded down, so that would be 15 feet. So half movement. Yeah. Okay. Because it's half your movement to stand up, and it's the same thing. It's like you duck down to take cover. Well, you're doing burpees. Man. Uh... <laughs> Uh, remember that's a wall. You, Magnus and Trogdor are in front of the door, so you can go that through. Is, sorry, it doesn't look like a door to me. Yeah, because the there's just so many things going on here. But that's fifteen. Okay. Is, no one there. That's okay. yeah, you can take that my ball. max move. I'm gonna shoot this one with the vicious. It's not letting me ping. There we go. Fair enough. Go ahead. Um, I'm gonna insight check its ass first. All right, bonus action. Check. Ooh. Uh, that is a 14 on his end. Mine passes. Oh, sorry. What was it? The bonus action. That's a bonus action. Wisdom. Yeah, so. No, I'm just. I rolled a 13, so. Oh, yeah. It passes. 13. Oh, it passed. Okay. No, sorry. I got four, 14. You're what? You 14 total? 14 total. All right, he got a 14 total, so... So, roll here we, off. Here we go again. All right, this time you say your number first. 18. Ah, uh, seven. <laughs> mm. uh, that's an 11 to hit. Uh, 11? Ooh. 11 does Ooh. not hit. Ooh. Ooh. Who's like muffled screaming right now? I was crying. <laughs> That's <to> Magnus crying. <laughs> uh, anything else, uh, Roland? You have a uh, second attack, don't you? No, you're rogue. You don't no. get a second attack. Anything else for you? Um. Oh, wait, you have a rapier, right? I do. I have a special rapier. Hmm. My action. Yeah, you've already done your action and you did your bonus action, so and your movement. So really, is there any object interaction or anything that you want to do? If not, it's Valet's. Um. Ooh. Can I? I want to tune into my senses and see if I sense anything. How like the vibe in the air is. Um. You feel hostility in this direction. And you feel fear in this direction. But fear. Man. Okay. And that will end my turn. Alright, not fear towards you or that, but like... You gonna say anything fear. about just that, Roland, or are you just gonna... I'm just gonna keep that to myself. Well, you Alright. that anyways, Valeth. You're in front of a bugbear. And it's your turn. I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Hit him. Go with. for it. Snag him with my quarter staff. Yeah, you obviously. Shillelagh quarter staff. Go ahead. With my shillelagh quarter staff. Oh, whoa. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Does a nineteen hit? Uh, nineteen does hit. Yes. All right. Eight. Eight damage. Uh huh. Not bad. Anything else? Um, my quarter staff is one handed. So can I punch him? Are you holding the shield? No. Oh, yeah, I am. Never mind. Mm, then no. Can I ram him with my shield? Shield bash would require a feat. That's a specific attack. Dang. All right. Um. Let me look at something here. Give me one second. My, cl my cat's blocking my screen again. Um... I don't let my cat up on the table for that reason. I don't, I, I don't let my cat up on anything about... She's spoiled. I can't, I can't say no to her sometimes because she'll just start meowing. I say no to my cat at least ten times a day. <laughs> I can't say no to her or else she'll just be really annoying. Isn't that right, Wednesday? I didn't say he wasn't annoying. Yeah. Your cat's name is Wednesday? 
Yeah. Did you name it Wednesday because of the TV show? It it was naturally called. First of all, it was before I got her before the TV show, and secondly, okay. she was already named Wednesday. I just got her because I already liked the Adams family, and then like a week after I got her, the TV show dropped. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I had this before it was cool type of right? I, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was cool in the 70s or 80s. Oh, yeah. And, but everyone asked me that, and I'm just like, no. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Um. Yeah, so I guess I just hit him, and that's it. Alrighty. Well, then that brings us to him. His turn. He's gonna, he's gonna hit back. So, he's gonna, well, at least he's gonna try with his... Morning Star that he messed up last time. Ah, does a 15 hit? I don't think so. Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> felt, uh, felt a little unnecessary there. <laughs> sorry. Right, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. Magnus, you are up. You do not feel anything from your flank any further. Right. I'm going to toll the dead on, on the thingy. All right, oh, go ahead. Guy. Oh yeah, wisdom save. Yeah. Ooh, that does not gonna do it. That hits the brain specifically, correct? Soul the dead? Yeah. I'm not sure, man. Let me. Point at a creature, sun, dollar spell. Target sees wisdom saving throw. The target is missing any of its hit points. Takes 1d12 instead, so 2d12. The spell fills the air around it for a moment, so it's like a so, so it's, like, it's like sound. Okay. All right, fair yeah, enough. Sorry. All right, uh, but yeah, he failed, so go ahead and give me that 1d12, please. It'd be 2d12, it, level 5. That's right, go ahead and uh, ruin his day. Yeah. <laughs> 16. All righty. He, uh, he does die from that hit, and I need an intelligence roll-off with Valeth, who is the closest to him. Me! Let's That's see. <laughs> Just your oh. intelligence modifier, not your saving throw. Oh, my intelligence oh, modifier? Mm -hmm. Okay. That, Wait, hold that, on. Now that, I'm confused. Your minus. Do I just say? My, D20 minus 1. Just tell me what you roll. D20 minus 1. Okay, so that turns into a 15. Alright, lucky for you, they rolled really bad as well, and that would have been, that is a three. So once again, <sighs> you guys see that creature fall, this time from Valus, uh head level, down to the ground, and after a split second, it teleports away as well. Oh boy. The new number is ten. Oh, that's right. Okay. Um... Yeah. Which I guess you can take that 10 if you'd like. Um, and then De uh, Dismin is going to shoot the uh, goblin. That is. Oh, wait, what am I rolling for? I'm going to do both his attacks. The 6 plus. 7 is a 13, which misses. <laughs> but the 20 does hit, so his second shot hits. And that's 1d10 plus 4, and he kills the uh, goblin. Um, Does it, like, shoot a brine thing at us, or no? Uh, a very loud sound happens as he's shooting this pepper box gun, like, right by you guys, and the bullet's whizzing past. <laughs> so it's, it's freaking No, loud. I would... I was just wondering if there was a weird brain thing that came out of the goblin when he died. No, not the goblin. Okay. Not the cub. <laughs> okay. Um, and so now I'm gonna say Trogdor, it's your turn. Did you want to give chase or anything, or? I'm giving chase. Or... All right. Well, were you giving chase too? Twenty. Watch my radius, dude. Thirty. Dude, right. I'm with. I totally moved thirty foot. I'm, I was started next to you, so I'm definitely in your radius still. And I don't see him. No, oh, not from that angle. If I go one more spot, I think I'm still in your radius. Here, Magnus, let me just do this for you. I don't know how to do that, dude. 
if you double click your token or just click on your token and hit the settings thing, you scroll down to token aura and then you can just put in the number of feet and it has this option for circles and squares. <clears throat> I don't I don't have it on so everyone can see that circle. That's just for you and then you can tell them. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Are you I still in your circle from here? No, you're good. You're good okay. right there. So I'm going to stop right out. there so I can see down the hallway a little bit if I All see right. anything. That is a that does require a dash action. So you would use Yeah, I was going to dash to then one in the space. I don't have I can't hit anybody from here. You do see one goblin who is actively running away. We got a little bit shorter that way back to the hallway if you want to chase up that way. Yeah, him. Dara and Dara's turn. You heard the what dark door yelled I'm out. I'm not gonna make it to him, so. But you can cut him off a little bit. I can try. Sure. Anybody oh, got man. misty step? I... Not anyone who has a turn right now. <laughs> All right, that's it. All right, his what turn. Put an eye out. 5, 10, Someone 15, 20, 25, 30, 20, 25, 30. Okay. And then... Oh, he's gone. Uh, he's also gone. Um, Roland, you uh, giving chase or letting it go? Uh, I'll give chase. Go ahead. Get running. You do have the fastest movement, so if anyone's going to reach him, it would be you. <laughs> and he went... Sorry, I was on another page. He went down here, right? Uh, Trogdor, Trogdor yelled that he's heading to the main hallway. Okay, it's not letting me move. You have the right tool? There yep, you. it's just... I had to reload. 25. 30... You have five more, 35. And then yeah. you can use your cunning action to bonus action Hit dash. Down. Yeah. 15, and he went down, right? All that's left yep. is this one goblin in the hallway that you can see. Okay, and I am going to shoot it with the vicious crossbow. But first, I want to insight check its ass. I got a 15. Um, oh, yeah. I roll. Uh, nine. So you get your... Uh... Wait, it's not a bonus action to do? Yeah, oh, it is. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. regular attack, please. Yeah. What's your bow? Yeah. Vicious crossbow, I'm presuming? Yeah. And that is uh, probably going to fail. With a 12. 12 does miss. Anything else for you? That's it. Alright, Valeth. Hello! Um, I'm just, uh, I'll just, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's all I can really do. Alright, this goblin is going to let out a yelp as the arrow flies past him missing. And he's going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, slam the door shut behind him and keep moving. Okay. Is anyone else going to continue the chase or are we doing the room? I'm licking wounds and getting ready to do the room. Completely up to you guys. Dion. Everyone. Let's cool. just do well, let's just room. let's just do it easy. Magnus, chase or stay. Say it again. Chase or Magnus, stay. Magnus, chase or stay. Stay. Trogdor, okay. chase or stay. I'll stay. Adara. Stay. Roland. Uh, chase. All right, get going. Oh, get going. <laughs> Is it my turn again? Yeah, I was using the turn order yeah, to, run. to do that. Oh, okay. Run. It's not really me do I have to roll again. again, or can I just stay with that six? That's crazy. His roll 20 is messing up so bad for you. Five, 
30, 35, dash, bonus action, uh -huh. and 15, open the door. You're about to die. Right. <laughs> Kind of fucked if there's any other enemies beyond there. I see a door. I'll be alright. There's a door. Yeah, there's a door right there. Alright, that leads to a small connector type hallway. And there's one goblin in there. Um. Okay. 20. I am I gonna try and hit it with the vicious. Oh fuck. Sixteen? Sixteen does hit. Go ahead and do your damage. That's ten total damage. Alright, you shoot this goblin down and he dies. Anything else? Uh, yes. All right, and so you give up the rest of the chase. All right. All right, I'm going down over here. All right. All righty. I guess you can drop, Let you me can change. drop that dome if you want to. Let me change the music back and explain the area. Reveal this. Can I open this door? Yeah, giving you all the rest of this. Boom. Hey, look, a nappy poo stop bot. Oh. Okay. All right. I, I turned to Trogdor and I'm just like, there's some beds over here. Okay, here we go. Okay, so let's play in this room now. Alright, so we'll start with the room closest to Magnus. Uh, so Magnus, this room here with the, the rug in it, uh, in there uh, you can see dangling from the ceiling is the skeleton, uh, uh, is a human skeleton that seems to be connected by multiple ropes and in the form where its arms and body can move separately. Uh, if you have any form of understanding of entertainment, he's the skeleton set up very close to the style of a marion marionette doll. Um, uh, then also, on, <laughs> then you see two halves of a cloven wooden shield lie in the room's northwest corner. Each half of the cloven shield has letters etched into it in goblin, which you should be able to read since you speak goblin. One half reads. Nimmer, N-I-M-R. The other half reads Aith, A-I-T-H. So I guess to the, together uh, that's Nimraith. Um, okay, read it to the group. See if anybody recognizes it. Anybody? Nimrath? 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 Uh, you guys that's, would. No, no one's gonna. No one's gonna recognize that. There's no. It's right. not in my notes, so no. Yeah. Um, and let's go to Valus' room here. We'll explain that one now. Uh, mm -hmm. So that that room looks to be uh, probably set up for what was likely the uh, goblins uh, watch post rest area where they would switch out who's resting and who's on alert. Uh you can see that it looked like uh, it was quickly upheaved as if they were alerted to be on guard for something oncoming. Hence the bugbears left from above and likely alerted them to have the full brigade ready to go for this fight that y'all just went through. Um, can I investigate the beds to see if there's any, they left anything behind? Uh, unfortunately, you're not going to find anything because all that was there was their weapons, shields, and the beds are pretty much made of, uh, they're just bedrolls, like standard bedrolls. All right. Um, and then in this room here in the very center, <clears throat> uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. and there you find a shattered statue that lies in the middle of the room. 
Uh, it looks like some of the pieces were attempted to be reassembled, but not successfully. <coughs> so, Blackout nice. rocks. So, anything else you guys want? Uh, oh, well, I guess Adara, you lost your rage, right? Let's get rid of that. All right, so there's beds do... down there. I need a nap. I was gonna say I want to do a medicine check on everybody. Go ahead. And one of my players suggested this, and I kind of liked it. If you don't put the other half in, so like, oh, by the way, everyone would get ten temporary HP. By the way, from yes. his uh, channel yes. divinity. But yeah, if you don't put in the I other half, it. so like for the uh, for the armor class, you can just not put the the max part in, and you'll always be able to see the uh, the thing if you click on it. But it won't block your view. What? Wait, what? Which one? What? Oh, the... that just looks so much better than all three. And I was like, ah, and then you can just click your token, and you can still see the details. But it doesn't block it with a view of all time. And I was like, ah, oh, that's... Wait, is... what? Sorry, go back, what? So, Double click your token. I, are, it okay, says I just did 10 it for, out of 10. I just did it for everyone's token. So you'll see that all you see is your health bar now. On top of your token instead of the blue bar as well. But if you click on your token, you can see the AC is listed. That way it doesn't block oh. so much of the view above you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I started, I, gotcha. I started playing that in all my games when I saw that, because I was like, it's just so much cleaner looking. <laughs> it is. Uh, but anyway. Anyway, I'm going to run nappies. Oh, so, my medicine check was 26. Uh, you can see that you and Trogdor are the most hurt. Valeth is a little hurt. Um, there's a little bit of damage into the others, but nothing, nothing crazy. Uh... Do you guys want to do anything with the statue, or or look around, or anything, or are we just... Yeah, well, I mean, we should check out the... secure the room, and then we should take a short rest, because at least maybe, two of us... Maybe unhang the do dead man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am not touching that puppet, man. That's gross. It's gross that you call him a puppet. Um... Yeah. <laughs> we're all just puppets in a meat suit. Hey, whoa, we're getting real there. Whoa. Or marionette, or whatever. <laughs> I'm not messing with the Muppet. The good Muppet skeletons. <laughs> no Muppet skeletons. You guys can take that thing down. I'm not. I'll go, to, I'll go take the puppet down. I guess. It's it's completely up to you. I was just messing with you. If you want to leave it up, I'll take moment. it down. Oh. I'm gonna uh, go. That, the, as you slice through the uh, the ropes that were holding them up, the the skeleton just falls to the ground. Uh, just more respectful. I'm going to uh, go. Oh, no, it's like human human bones, dead bones. Yeah, they're they're human remains. Valeth, what are you doing? I'm going to go up to Adara, and I'm just gonna be like, "Could I get that rod back?" Yeah, sure. Here. Thank you. Thank you. I, yeah, I grab it and I put it away. Alrighty. Anyone else doing anything else? Did we already investigate the statue? Nope. I'm going to investigate the statue. Alright, go can ahead I and do an her? investigation check. And yes, you can. Do you have advantage on that? Or, Me? Sorry, do you have perception? Proficiency I have... is the word, Adara. I, ha so. I have advantage in perception. No, you wouldn't but... have advantage. You would have proficiency. Uh, I was also saying the wrong word. But uh, if Adara, you're helping, then roll a d6, and we'll add that on to okay. Bayless things. Okay. Gotta gotta see what my thing is. Six five. Five. Okay. You got a five. So Valith, you Valith, what what's yours? Sixteen plus two. Six. So eighteen. Yeah. Plus five from the help Adara is giving you, so a total of twenty-three. With that, you um, uh, you see that the statue is in seventeen fist-sized chunks, uh, and from the little bit that was being put back together, 
it looks like it was likely of three uh, warriors, but the the details are hard to put together without the statue uh, in place. Mm. Do you think we could put together? If we took a long rest, I could memorize men and put it back together. I have men. Oh, you have men? Let's go use yeah. it, dude. Okay, well, I'm gonna Check, walk over. Go, go use it. I'm gonna walk over here and uh, use men. All right. Um, it's gonna take you a couple times as there are 17 fist-sized chunks, but you can just constantly use men over and over as it's a cantrip. So, um, Adara, are you Adara and Valeth? Are you gonna like put the pieces up and then let him mend it and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, sure. Oh, we'll, yeah. we'll we'll aid in the the construction of this thing. Alright, so I'll say it takes you guys about 10-15 minutes to get all the pieces, kind of find where they go, and he'll use mending magic to put it together. Um, as the statue slowly comes back together, you can see that it does depict three male human warriors that stood together on a stone mound. They're facing outward and clutching their swords as if they've just claimed victory. As the last piece is put together, you'll see the statue glow slightly, and the energy will just flow toward Trogdor, and it will flow into your Bloodwell vial. Your Bloodwell vial is now a plus two. Mm. Happy birthday! Happy oh, birthday! Oh. Right on, dude. That would have sucked if we didn't uh, make uh, bring this together. So now your spell save DC is 18, and your spell attack bonus is 10. Because your blow bow vial is a plus 2. It doesn't do anything for the short rest, getting your points back and stuff, of course. But it does make it a rare tier thing, and you don't have to reattune to it or anything. But does that... it still give the old um, 5 back from short rest? Yeah, it doesn't. Mm. like I said, it doesn't change that aspect. Oh, it doesn't change. Okay, it doesn't but it goes raise from... that. But it goes from a plus one to a plus two, which aids you all your magic stuff. So your spell save DC and your spell attack bonus went up by one. So now it is an Ooh. 18 DC and a 10 spell attack. Boom. Can anybody run a history? Wait, can anybody run a history check to see if the who the three warriors are? Or I think that would no. be a magic you, effect yeah, for the. You can. You know, I'll it do it. Like a yeah, cool joke where I got it. At the beginning. And you forget about the joke, and then it comes around at the end. Uh, dirty, 20. Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20, okay. Um, did they tell you guys about any warriors from the Yawning people, or no? No, we didn't know shit. We were drunk, and we went in there and yelled, do whatever you want to think we're going downhill. We did hear a little bit about some uh, high-end people. Yeah. Uh, um, like the yeah the elves. heirloom yeah I'd say the heirloom a, people with a twenty on the history check. I'll say that you can see that one of the one of the three men seem to uh, resemble the main guy that was keeping you guys, that get, granted y'all access to the dungeon in the first place. Uh, but it's not quite him. It's almost like it's a relative of him. Uh, the yeah. other two, you're not sure. Likely warrior buddies of him whenever the trio was together. Okay. <sighs> That's rude. That yawn? So. <laughs> hey, it's the yawning portal. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so. That's, uh, that's the statue. That's all that. Alright. Alrighty. So, so I got a fat two necklace, um... I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Right. I need a nap, man. Yeah, there are there are I think seven beds in there. Maybe maybe only six. I'm not sure. There's enough beds for each of y'all though. That's for sure. I'm gonna burn the last of my sorcery to... points to remake one of my my spell slots. Are we doing a short rest or okay. a long rest? Short rest, at least. How many sorcery points did you have left? I had I three mean... left. So I can make one second level spot. And that's we can do doing. a long rest, and I can block the door. Yeah. If we're doing a long rest, I'm setting up a tiny hut. Why would you? I'm blocking the door. 
because, because nothing's coming out. Invisible. Yeah, they can't get in. But I'm blocking the door. Why? They can't get in either way. Don't expend a slot, I'm man. I got, I got this right it, here. I'm gonna, presume, I'm gonna presume Desmond didn't hesitate to take a nap. I mean, right, he is a cat, it. so... Exactly. Cat nap. Literally what I was thinking. Why wouldn't he do that, so... Alright, whatever. Magnus, you coming over here? Oh, I'm gonna ritual cast Tiny Hut. Are we All doing right. long rest or short rest? What are we doing? We're doing a long rest. I thought I'm... we were doing a long Well, then get in the room if you're gonna okay, do a okay. long rest. Magnus, come do it down here. Yeah, I'm blocking the door with the movable with the immovable rod, and then I will put it some somewhere. I will go somewhere over here, I guess. Whatever, right here. Okay. And Magnus, are you gonna join them in this room? No, he's in a hut because he he doesn't want to be with us. He oh. wants to ritual cast with his hut. Okay. Yeah, I guess you can do that, Magnus, and just be it's out there. It's impenetrable, by and nobody can get in or out. Uh, nobody can get in or out with the movable rod. <laughs> So when you guys get in this room and you see it. this door, you see that it has one of those like log latches where you just like lower the log and it'll keep the door shut just like that. I put the move in movable rod there. Even better. Say you close yeah. the door and you put the rod in the in front of the door. And... In the in the log slot, yeah. yeah. So Magnus, are you sleeping with the group or not? Yeah, I'm still going to do my tiny hut. Maybe. Why? It's busy. fine. You can do the tiny hut. <laughs> can... As far as everyone <laughs> knows, you're not there, and it's invisible. So, it's so weird. I support right. tiny hut. Can I, can I, I ask one question about the immovable rod? Okay. What? Okay, you put the immovable rod on a wooden door. If I burn the door down, and just the, wouldn't the rod just stay there in the floating the midair? I can still walk yeah. around? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's, I guess so. That was why the hut is is valid. That's fine. Okay. So you go but there. But people aren't them. really gonna burn down a door. I it's... would. You don't know that. You don't. We do that all the time. Yeah, but if they yeah, do but that's here, us. It's the <laughs> that's empty room. not like a random goblinoid or something. You know, I mean, you, they can do that. Whatever. You you do your hut. Yep. Yeah. I'm with yeah, I'm at Magnus in the hut. Don't you make me Come on, Magnus. So those inside, the, kick, man. so those inside the hut, uh, the air is cleaner. The surroundings just feels nicer because the tiny hut causes its own environment and conditions. So it's it's like it's like a nice, cool evening out camping. Is what it feels Putting like. Putting a cable you. next week. That's stupid. <laughs> Uh, the three of you that are not in the hut, you just have your goblin sleeping bags to sleep on, and it's a yeah. it's a dirty dungeon that you're sleeping in. So enjoy that. Yeah, man. <laughs> now, question: Is it dawn again, <laughs> or are we in like the middle of the night now? What do you know? I'm you're sure. In a dungeon. Yeah, let's well, just... I need to know for the wand of magic or wand of magic missiles. Y'all came in here at it was about. 11-ish, 12-ish. You did a little bit. I'd say that took like an hour and a half. Doing the mirror thing probably took like 30 minutes. This goblin fight, 10 minutes. Uh, it's been about, it was about 1,500 when you guys took this long rest. So now it would be about 2,300. Uh, so, and it's... A wand is at dawn, right? The specific? Yes. Then no, it is not recharged. Okay. That's all I was asking. Uh, sure. right. A water clock, man. Um, so yeah. So we're gonna man, it's gonna be hard to, to keep track of time, but let's go. That is the one thing I was I was worried about with this dungeon is keep so, track of like dawn. Alright, that's okay. I'm gonna mark it. Uh twenty three hundred. Long rested at 1500. And yes, I'm going to use military time. It's easier for me. Um, okay. Whatever. Man. All right. Definitely faster for math. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, then, yeah, you guys got your long rest. Uh, so you have all your spell slots, all your health. Everything is all back to how it is, except for your wand. <sighs> um, and as far as you can tell, it's. Uh, yeah, there's still a dark dungeon cave, so. 
<laughs> but yeah, you guys can... I'm gonna eat some rations. Yeah, you guys can wake up, eat your rations, have your morning chatter. Go on. Alright, so... Quick, uh, little summary here. We got... We got a hallway that was going south that had a door, or at least a hallway going back west again. And then we're still at a hallway that's going to go south farther, so the other hallway is probably going to run into this hallway somehow. So are we continuing south, or are we going to cut back north? What do you want to do? Take the lead. I don't mind taking the lead. I just... If I kick the door open first, I have to fireball everything that was in my way. I can just open oh. the door easily without the whole fire thing. You open the door and then barred it from us. I I'm just saying I can open the door right now. It's well no, I'm not I'm not talking about that. I'm talking we can when we leave, I can kick a door and worst case there's a bunch of guys there are just fireball. Okay, sure. Fireball. Yeah, I need to add that to the soundboard. So why don't, so why don't you and Roland take the lead? Roland's got Mage Hand. You got your fireball ready. And then I'll follow up behind you as long as I'm behind. You. All right, come on, Alfie, let's go. Okay, lead the way. Just make sure you can get there. All righty, yeah, y'all can make your. I'm gonna way. push the button and put the. Put the stupid rod thing on the ground, and then be like, "Put the pick rod it up on the way ground." Out. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna pick it up. Alrighty, put it away. Uh, it wasn't close to me. I could throw it in the bag if I wanted to, but she won't get it. Uh, all right, Magnus, I'll fix your thing. Uh, there is no temporary HP, oh, just so y'all know. No. I figured out how to do it. I figured it out. Nice. Yeah. Uh, is this door here? It's open. Uh, unlocked, yeah, open. It's, yeah, it's open. I'm okay, I'm gonna walk through there. I'm gonna walk down here and. All right, I got crimson. See what's up. around door number one. I was making sure I fixed up Desmond's folk. Put that, uh, I'm gonna push. use oh. a mage hand to open the door. Alrighty. Yeah, I walk through stone. Oh, dun, 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 dun. Let there be light. You guys want to refresh on on your uh, supervision? Yes. Did everyone uh, everyone ate rations this morning, right? That's what we did. And I did. Yes. I don't know about them. Yeah. Oh, I, I need to mark. Yeah. Yeah. Well, nine days left. Alrighty. Um. Alrighty. So yeah, you guys open up that door. Uh. Uh, two stone pillars with a 10 foot wide arch between them support this 20 foot high ceiling. Uh, on the ground you see a uh, two skeletal remains of orcs. Um, their sacks left open and empty. I'm going to grab the orc skulls just to make sure they get off of their heads. Off of their spines or whatever and just put them separately in another area all right you said you're taking the orc spines is that what they just heard no the heads i'm taking them off of their spines oh okay heads i'm taking off of their the spines. heads off okay. of their spines That's and then less just... weird yes okay. yeah i was very, I was very putting... like what what type of <laughs> sub-zero ass shit was that <laughs> <laughs> no i'm taking both of their skulls off their spines and then i am Putting them like in this this corner right here, I guess. I know a certain okay. gnome that would do that. <laughs> if you watch Charming Quest, that would be a, a valid thing to do. Uh, in Look, between I'm, these two pillars, sorry, I'm just I, saying. I sorry, I'm I'm just saying my my character support uh, uh what is it is religious whatever uh for a person who is very in tune with the undead. So I, I think better safe than sorry, you know? I don't. Anyways, what were you going to say? 
Ooh. Um, okay. Sorry, this should not be there. Um, in between the two pillars, uh, you see what looks like the remnants of a broken spell that seems to remain lingering. Uh, as you guys enter uh, or get close to the, uh, the pillars, uh, you, you can see down that there is a hallway pass, but it's a little uh, hard to see down that hallway because of the, the kind of uh, portal issue, portal-like uh, pathway between the two pillars. And um, you can just feel the heavy arcana coming off of the, the pillar's pathway. Step and then on the that. other side, you see a door. Okay. I'm going to open the door. Okay, we're going door. Do you think I could squeeze past the pole, like the, uh, the this this part right here? I can squeeze past it and no. go that way? Okay. That space is... Do they specify... Cause it looks to me like it'd be like maybe two, three inches, like not much. So, but my character yeah, would the spell magic do anything on it? A lingering spell that's broken, and I don't think it's kind of a spell. Probably an unstable spell in that uh, case. I, I wouldn't want to touch that. You're welcome to use a spell slot and see if it does anything. Man, Anybody got to check spell. magic? <laughs> uh, oh, magic. Yeah. Well, Chargar. Oh, that's an expensive spell. I'll open the door. Yeah, Chargar's open the door, so. Uh, you see a hallway that leads down to uh, what looks to be a bigger room. Alrighty, let me show you the room. Alrighty, um, as you enter this area, you see that moldy bones have swept into a deep alcove in the south wall. That's this right here. Mm. And you can see, um, hanging from rusty manacles on the back wall of an alcove to, uh, the east is a tiefling skeleton missing its legs. Written on the wall above the skeleton in dried blood are the following. Talk to me. Hey, holy man, you don't hey. speak to the dead or sorry, anything? Uh, I'm not talking to uh, a dead thing, dude. I'll talk to it. I'll talk to it. You, um, have, you have the spell speak with dead? Speak with the dead? No. Then how are you going to talk to it? I didn't realize I'd have to talk. I didn't realize that was a spell. Oh, yeah. Speak with yeah. this is a spell. Yeah. Oh, somebody had... Oh, mm, comprehending languages, never mind. Comprehending languages probably doesn't mean... Or does it? Uh, oh, it's a specific what? spell to speak to have, the dead guy. You, you, have, speak a, to soul. Yes. you have a dead helmet of comprehending language. languages, so do you think that would apply with understanding dead people? No, because speak to dead pulls their soul back and bounds it for a like, uh, question or two. Okay. And it has to be a spoken language that I hear. If you can get it to talk, I can understand it. Okay. But you gotta cast speak with the dead to get it to talk. Anybody gotta speak with the dead? Yeah, too bad it's yeah, not. Non really necromancer. Well, Onwards and away we go. Well, I'm pulling its head off. Uh, it's hanging. Uh, how tall teeth are you? crime. What? What do you mean, how tall am I? It's a hanging... Like, how are you reaching the skull? Oh, let me see. I... Let me see how tall I am. I am... 5'5". Five five. Okay. Well, it's it's hanging up on the wall, so it's probably about... The head alone is probably about 10 to 12 feet up in the air, depending. Really? Okay. Never mind. I'm gonna Never go mind. wander down this hallway. I'll just, I'll All just right, we're wandering. Yeah, I water. You know this. <sighs> Does anyone else want to do anything else? I feel like no one else is. I don't want anyone to feel like they're not getting a chance to do something. I'm no, I'm just, if you got something to do, do I it. Uh, I do not have speak with dead. Does anybody want to investigate anything? Because my investigation sucks. So I'm never gonna say oh, investigate. Good. 
Can I check out this room that I'm in? Which room that you're in? Oh, that one? Uh, no, yeah. I, I mean, that's the, it's the one I just explained. Do you want to do, like, a check of some kind, or...? Like, just <laughs> more thorough. Is there anything in the corners? Is there... Just the multi skeleton uh, and the hanging dead, uh, dead uh, tiefling skeleton. Can we take its skull and then it's keep taking it? Can I take its spine? Take it on it <laughs> Don't on. take its. Well, I mean, you'd probably have to find some way to like knock it down. Yeah. Because uh, it's like 10 to 12 feet in the air. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead kidding. and say 11 feet flat. So yeah, the, the, the skull itself is 11 feet flat. So the body hangs a little lower, but. The tiefling was probably about six foot, six foot two, whenever they were alive. So they were lifted about two feet in the air, making their head about 11 feet up. Ah, uh, screw that guy. Alrighty. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there is a door to the south. Uh, that's where you want to go next. Lead on. Are you going to open the door? Opening door. I am. Oh, oh wait, I can put my because I have a long rest. Hold on, I need to put my stuff back up. All right, so you open this door, and you find a hallway with another door in it. Super exciting. Okay, hold on. Give me a second to put my stuff back up. All right, there it is. Okay, just more hallways. Top of the dungeon. <laughs> All right, I'll just walk over here, and I guess I'm not gonna open it yet. I'm gonna look back and make sure everyone's still following. What is it? Another door? It's another door. Let's get up there and get a perception check. Magnus, get the perception going. Okay. Yeah. Mister Seventeen, passive. Off. 17 passive perception is crazy, honestly. I gotta have something that's good. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's a... Ooh, it's always low. Not you. Ro Sorry, it sounded like, sound like Roland was doing a check. <laughs> Roland, what was your check? Oh, I wasn't doing a check. I was just talking Yeah, Magnus shit. was oh. saying, what, what, <laughs> can we, what can we perceptionize with the 17? Perceptionize, is that a word? No. <laughs> oh, take the helmet off. You're up to the door. Take the helmet off. Perception 17. Uh, yeah, there is no traps on that door. Alright, opening the door. Alrighty, opening the door. Helmet back on, baby. Ooh, uh... Keyword on that door, so we should probably still be careful. Alright, uh, inside you see um, a large hallway, and on the north end, it looks like there was a crudely dug pathway made um, to another area. It's not a huge hallway, it's probably about like four feet wide, you'd have to squeeze if you were wearing armor and such, but um, uh, in there you see a dead goblin that lies on the floor. Its skull has been uh, caved in by some rubble that fell on it a while back. Uh, you oh, can that's also, good. You also uh, see a half-buried uh, half stone. Uh, the stone debris that half-buries a uh, headless stone statue of a nude woman. Um, but yeah, and you guys can uh, check it out and see what... Nude There's also a door right here. Oh, double door, really. Hmm. Um. Could I try and push some of the rubble past the 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 statue? Yeah. Go ahead and to... do uh, athletics to move the rubble. Athletics. All right. Let's see what we got here. Um, that is a nat one. <laughs> These rocks. Oh, no! <laughs> These rocks are surprisingly heavy. I spilled my drink everywhere. Face plant, one damage. <laughs> I spilled. I, spilled, uh, I, I need to. The nat one hit you in real life. I see. Well, anyone else want to do anything with the debris? 
Uh, I'm concerned with them double doors, man. You can open the doors if you want. No one's stopping you. No, 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 no. What I'm thinking, guys, is Saluni gives me great power twice a day. If we do it now, we get maximum power. Get into we're gonna clean. Place we're gonna get into, and we got it one more time, baby. Yeah. Would you like me to kick the door over, Magnus? So I'm asking once. Do you want them hit points, baby? <sighs> I'm fully. I'm good right now. Let's go. No, I'm talking about the bonus hit points. Go in with full bonus hit points. Rolling, you want me to play you one closer? More time. Yeah. <sighs> I think that was my first ever net one. Yeah, and you applied it to I your don't, life. But... I don't think yeah. we need to waste the bonus hit points before we start the thing. I don't I, think I, I can understand it that, that it takes half your turn, but at the same time, if you open the door and there's nothing, you just wasted your divinity for nothing. But I got it twice, man. Okay, did something happen while I was away cleaning? No, they're still arguing on whether to open the door okay. or do the rubble. <laughs> yeah. All right. Open the door, dude. All right, I'll open it. Yeah, open the door. All right. Is it locked? Nope. Oh, okay. Hey, look, it's a hallway, see? More hallways. All right, man, whatever, man. All right, Doesn't you seem see to that end, huh? there's an L-shaped hallway on the end of the one heading to the east. Uh, you see that it curves up, and then there is the south hallway that looks a little different than what you've been seeing so far. Uh, let me give you... Me different see, how? Let me see how much I can say with that. Um... 300 you, feet, you right? Or, well, so 60 feet right now. You see this, uh, the yellow dot right here? That is a brightly lit and uh, a brightly lit candle that is uh, flickering um, and causing a shadow uh, underneath it. The candles don't seem to be producing any smoke. That's so weird. Magic flame, so I can't fuck with it. Um... So we've been working south this entire time. We're continue working south, or we can go back north a little bit to more or less probably where we came from. I have a question. Okay. Shape water, does that apply to alcohol? Like, if uh, someone just pour out all of their alcohol and you can just shape that. It would take, uh, the, water, water. It would take the water out of the alcohol. Rolling oh. would be pissed. I, it's I, alcohol I, abuse where we come from. No, that'd be really that. That'd be. Wouldn't that just make it way more stronger? Because I'd take all the water out of it. Yeah, water's a main ingredient of like every drink out there. So. Yeah, but I'm just saying, wouldn't that make the alcohol like super strong? Yeah, or would that just obvious, kind yeah. of? Of course it would. Dissipate it. It would still be the same. It would still be the same percentage of like alcohol itself, but the actual volume would be different. That's not uh, different. Okay. Yeah, the alcohol amount would be the same, but there would be less volume to dissipate the strength level, so it would appear stronger. I was just you wondering ain't if... to go put that fire out, Trogdor. There'd be less dilution. Why would I put the fire out? I like fire. Okay. Because I can't play with it, doesn't mean I'm not going to get rid of it. Well, let's just um, how is, is this? Is this a candle or a torch? I'm sorry, I, I may have It's a that. candle, and as you get closer, you can see down the hallway that there is plenty more where that comes from. In fact, it is well lit all the way down both ways. I don't trust oh, this. Cool. You also right. notice that this corridor is conspicuously free of dust and debris, unlike the rest of this. Dungeon I definitely don't trust All this. Alright. Magnus, heads or tails? I say we follow the lights. There's lights both sides. Heads or tails? Tails, man. I don't trust Ian, this. can you flip me a coin? Yeah, I got you. Hey, uh, what do you want? Tails is, is to the right. Tails. Alright, to the right we go. Go this way. Don't you guys think we should go up first? Each of the 25 niches contains two lit candles, and as you look at them, you can see that wax is running off the sides of the candles, yet it doesn't seem like any of the wax has dripped onto the niche that's holding them. 
the candles also don't seem to have differencing in height as if they've had zero diminishing factor into uh, their lit, uh, lit standard. Are the flames black? No. Okay, See, not lit by a version. Got it. Uh, it's uh, it's brightly lit, flickering tallow candles. Uh, sh da -da -da, the candles produce heat, but no smoke, and they are yellow, as yes. you can see on the Don't map. you guys, don't you guys think we should go up I was just first? A, I was just making a joke, but no, I called it. Magnus called it color thing. We're going this way. All right. I just don't very, do very much stress this. I'm going to stay in the back. Cause he's... That's fine. We'll say that Crimson's walking with you, um, Chogdor. Like right sure. Yeah. Here, good, good, good. I'll move his token as, as you know, it matters. No problem. All right. Bailey's gonna stay in the back because she doesn't really trust us. So. No, <laughs> She's just like kind of. Can, can I roll? Wait, nah. Actually, I don't need that. Do I really? Do I need a perception check or? For what? I don't know, just checking if there's like a trapped or anything. Oh, we don't check or trap. That's, that's, that's like roll one of party. <laughs> I trust my passive. Well, Vayla checks for traps. I all trust right, my passive for traps. Hold there for now. Um, Alright, this is this one. Um, this tunnel comes to a dead end and mounted on the north wall of which you see a mirror gate. Break it. Um, worked into the mirror stone frame is the graven image of a human wizard wielding a wand. Uh, Before you right. yell me, uh, break it. Hear me out. You guys got to decide what you're going to do with this. You have ten I seconds. Go. Time. Okay, we're in. It, man. Right, stop. We're in the middle of Dungeon of the Mad Mage, that is a wizard. I'm assuming he's a mage. First off, so it's magic. Um, he's crazy. There's a, a picture of a guy with a wand making a wizard or some type of magic person. And this place is well lit, so people have been in and out of here. It's probably his way to get back to the surface to get food. Damn it! Don't break it. Oh, no, nope. why would you break if we it? go through it, possibly, maybe we got right to the head and we call it done. Or we just start talking. Talk or we could die. Don't break it. Oh, yeah. That's an illusion. Magnus, what you Y'all back up, man. Magnus, what you doing? I'm going to talk. Hold, hold, hold my shield up. Y'all back up, man. Is Don't it, walk it through it either. Is it my reflection? Uh, your reflection is coming off almost like. Uh, with like less opacity than uh, the graven image, the human wizard doesn't seem to be looking towards you guys. Is there uh, anything on the floor, like a rock or something? Traditional mirror thing, no. man. Wave, wave no. the hand, see if it mimics it. It's mimicking you. The mirror. Your image is mimicking you. Okay, is the wizard that's engraved on it? Is that looking in a specific yeah. direction or anything? Uh, he just seems to be looking, um, probably at something else in the, in the room that he's in. Dude. But it doesn't, it's, it's not like you can see what he's looking at. Okay, so it's not like it's looking to the right, there's something on the right, possibly. Could I pick up one of the candles? Um, it's, let's see, those candles are... Break the, the wire, man. The candles are seven feet high, so if you can reach that, you can grab a candle. Ugh. Oh, wait. I think I. You're yeah, five foot. How long are your it's, arms? Yeah. I'm five five, but yeah, my so the arms lengths are about halfway of the body, so that'd be like three feet or something yeah, that I can should reach. Be able, you should be able to reach it. Okay, whatever. I'll go to this candle right here and. Uh, grab it from the wall. Cool. Con save, please. <laughs> oh, Lord. 
Okay, con save. That turns into a... Let me see my con. That turns into a dirty 20. Alright. Uh, you feel a lot of heat come off of the candle itself, not so much just from where the flame is. Uh, but thanks to your resistance and a decent con save, you're not taking any damage from it. It's just a really hot candle. Hotter, like, almost like holding a lit light bulb. Oh. Okay. Well, I, hmm. Would, would I need to take, uh, more, more rolls to keep this in my hand, or is, do I, did I just pass it and that's, we'll that's see, it? We'll see, we'll see if you keep holding it. Right now, <sighs> Magnus is doing a thing with the mirror, though. Magnus? Yeah, um, so it's not actually anything I can communicate with. It's just he doesn't seem in the, in the... he doesn't seem to hear you. Um, uh, touch his nose, man. With you touching it with what? Your hand? The stick. <laughs> what stick? Where are you getting a stick from? Give, give me some specifications, hey, guys. I'm asking for what for a reason. Drug so. door, give me your stick. Give me God, how you getting my stick? I'll give yeah, you an I'll arrow. Come up here and poke it. Just I'll give you an I'll arrow. Move. move, I'll poke it. Move, move. All right, I'm getting out of the way. I'll do it. What I'll do it. What are we poking it with? I'm going to go over and put the uh, candle to the mirror. Okay. Oh hell no! I'm stepping around the corner. It has no reaction. <laughs> yeah. It has no reaction to the candle. All right. Poke I it just... with the arrow. Um. It. Uh, d no reaction to the ca okay, whatever. I'll step back and let's. Okay. I'm gonna put with my it, finger. Oops, I'm inside finger? the walls. Okay. Here, uh, I'm gonna uh, put the candle back over okay. here. That's fine. Uh, with your hand, it doesn't do anything. It's a mirror. Ah, right, it's just a mirror. So we can break it. I mean, you Don't can break. break it. My, I mean, you could possibly break it. I haven't tried shooting a fireball at fireball at it or something like that, but is this thing like in the wall or is it movable? Are we down here collecting like uh the mirror is worked the mirror worked into the mirror stone frame. Oh, I'm sorry, I guess I re I read that wrong. The stone frame has the graven image of the human wizard wielding a wand. So it's the frame itself has a carving. I called it. Is that, it's a Th that's what I thought you meant. So the honestly. the the actual mirror oh. itself isn't. It's just you, and you. It's just you, and it looks like there's a room that's not the hallway past it. So everything other than the wizard standing there oh, looking yeah. off is is accurate. The image was carved in. I'm sorry, I misread that. And I touching know, it did nothing. So. Touching it did okay. nothing. Okay, so either the a, there's either a magic word that opens Hesame's this bitch, or a special object we need to have to be able to pass through said portal. Hey man, turn around and like walk backwards into it, dude. Alright, turn around and I walk backwards. Uh, it's like bumping into a wall when you hit it. I hit a wall. <laughs> That's a wall. <laughs> Okay, I don't know, man. I'm going to back up like three steps and I'm going to say fire bolt at it. All right. No. Uh, the fire bolt doesn't seem to do any damage when it hits. I will okay. say, though, after your third attempt touching the mirror, you hear a woman's voice in your head, Trogdor, that just whispers, that almost like a whisper that just says, you're not ready. Leave it. All right, we need to level up a little more. Yes. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy right, lady man. just told me we ain't ready for this shit, so let's get out of here. The lack of questioning right. the voices is not what I expected, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> you see my intelligence. <laughs> Whatever. Let's it. just go back. The ghost voice is spoken. <laughs> <laughs> told you that magic voice in the sky, man. I'm, just so y'all know, that was not just like I made a ruling. Like that's a that was a real thing that just really happened. So, wow. I'm not just like stop wasting your time. I'm letting something happen. But Charger, you can you can just 
point blank face it if you'd like. That's nothing stopping you there. Hey, you know, that's gonna be that's gonna be grab a couple of dice and start rolling the couch seats then. Could we could we start going up uh, now? Well we got left to go. Uh, okay. Follow the pretty light. Did I see and hear that from the angle or was that? It was in my head. Yeah, it was in my head. I just, I just yelled out that I just uh, heard that. Yeah, this, yeah. this dragon is schizophrenic for all we know. <laughs> Draw, Draw, you, you know, know I might be a <laughs> Alright, bring Crimson over here. Yep. Alright, well, I'm going to take Vigilant Blessing with myself. Alright. And that gives well, you uh, advantage on stealth, advantage. right? No, initiative. Uh, initiative, okay. All right, Chargdor, as you're leading Double the way. The big beefy dragon, of course, I gotta lead the way. Everybody else is squalled, squishy. I'm a rogue behind. Probably like turn invisible in the middle of these fools. All right, Chargdor, as you continue forward, you see a the path continue to your west that hits a dead end. A, the path opens up to the south to a long corridor and there seems to be a door to the north roll and move get up with the team there you go so now being as that i do have a mapping background would i be like mentally mapping this path more or less out you have a mapping background what do you mean I, I wander. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, basically, you just can't get lost once you take a pathway. So, if you guys wanted to leave, you would know the exact route that you guys have taken to get back to the exit. Uh, so you can't. You basically just can't get well, lost after you travel the pathway. So. But would would I know? Like, say, look at the like looking at the map. Would I know? Okay, about forty feet north of me. It's a hallway that did not have a door, so there should be nothing north of me from this, this doorway. Um, it's more so just like you have excellent memory for maps. You guys didn't see an actual map for this place. So okay. rather, so right now you're just going to be based off of, well, I took a left, I took a right, I took a right. So if I need to go back, I need to take a left, a left, and then a right. Like it's more like that type of aspect when you don't have an actual physical map to look at. Okay, no, I was just double checking on that because I didn't know how that exactly worked. You want to yeah. start marking the you're walls? Just, you're just hella good with maps, so you know you'll be able to find your way back no matter what because you have walked this path before. So that's essentially what that does for you. South we go, I guess. Right. I'm oh. blindly following. There was the door to what the I north. Do? You ignore the door. Okay, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. You can go south. We're going south. South, I guess. I don't know. Maybe we'll go north. Alright. There's a... the door. Now I'm curious, yeah. man. I'm gonna... Can we check out this door, guys? Alright, alright. Yeah. Like, come man. on. Alright, yeah. You open the... We're in a dungeon, dude. It is funny, though. Well, I was like... Uh, it is funny, because you open the door, and it's a big old empty room. It's so... a closet. Got uh, it. It's hey, empty, it's empty we, room. It, it's cleared now. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <sighs> But is it cleared? For the sanity of your of your team. It's the completionist. It's the completionist. Yep. <laughs> Bro, you know there's a slime well, in dude. the corner two inches big. <laughs> <laughs> What's their god's name? Obulux or whatever. <laughs> uh, so Chogdor and Adar running forward. Which way are we taking? You got your south and you got your, your, your... Oh, I guess you get to see a little bit more, right? You, here's a little bit more. Here you go. Here's a little bit more. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Yeah, you'd see the rest of this. Alright, I guess I'll peek around the corner. What up down there? I mean, you can see everything down whatever hallway it is, no matter how long it is. Yeah. Sorry, it's the top of the hour. I gotta hop off. All right, yeah. Uh, you guys technically had ten more okay. minutes, but I can yeah. just throw the ten minutes on next week if you guys want. We can just do that. That's fine. That's fine. All right, cool. Then we'll just go ahead and call yeah, it sure. here. Uh, let's back All you right. guys up a little bit. Put us in the closet, I guess. 
We'll just put y'all here in this little corner. Cause yeah, because everybody's guys... at full Never health. again! You guys can decide what to do next. We'll put Crimson here. And boom. There we go. So yeah, uh, we'll stop it here. And then next week we will continue the exploration of the dungeon. Woo! Right on. Ready? Go ahead and stop it here. Guys.